if you're watching this on YouTube, <laughs> good luck to us all. Um, but we are going to be doing the last part of the Fontaine Archon quest. I am very much excited. We already have um, Miss Farina here on our account. And I don't really know Boy, what to expect. Isn't there but else more interesting to do? I'm assuming everyone's saying it's crazy. So I'm going to expect crazy. Um, I'm really hoping it picks up like really early on. Do you know what I mean? In terms of the storylines. Like I hope it doesn't drag in any way. Um... <laughs> And yeah. Oh my god. Are we going back to the fortress of Meripede? Oh god. I thought I was escaping the prison. Not me back in here again. Alright, chat. No spoilers. But chat, feel free to obviously react in chat to what's going on as much as you'd like. Um, I know YouTube loves seeing your guys' comments throughout the Archon Quest. People always comment about what people are saying. So. The use of music has been fantastic. I'm excited. I'm excited for the cutscenes. Thoughts on Farina gameplay? So far, so good. Increase my new Valette's damage on C1, which is what I expected. I still have to test her quite a bit. <sighs> now for a little rest after breakfast. This is the life. Wait a sec. Isn't something important supposed to happen today? Oh, today's our big day. We're supposed to leave the Fortress of Meripede. Come on. How long have they been in here for? The procedures now. Like 50 days? Ooh, the Masquerade of the Guilty. Oh, the title, the title. I can't believe we're getting the title. Now, will there be a Masquerade Ball is a question. I, I really expected that. I'll, I'll be kind of a, a little bit let down if we didn't get the Masquerade Ball, but, you know, we take what we can get. All right. Please sign here. This document will be effective immediately upon Why does she sound annoyed? The Fortress of Meripede via the regular channels. It's been so long since we've been to the surface. Let's hurry up and... <gasps> oh, no. Uh, what's happening? Yeah, that seal was not going to last. We knew that. I'm fine, thanks. But I wonder what that tremor was just now. Let's go ask the Duke. Oh, Risley? <gasps> I, you know what? I wonder when Mona comes in the story. Oh, I'm so curious what Mona is even involved in. Slay. Sorry. All right, Risley, give me the butt. Give me the butt and the booty shots. Farina's dress is actually so long. It's actually the closest thing we've gotten pretty much to a full-on long dress. Your Grace? <laughs> I oh, prefer to Dabby, see you but... Is there something you wish to see me about? Yeah, what was with that earthquake just now? <laughs> ah, that. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. The surface? Over the years of serving as the warden here, I have developed a sense for distinguishing between what occurs on the surface and what occurs underwater. Besides, the seal that Monsieur Neuvillette set in place won't fail so easily. So, the fortress is okay? If you recall our last incident, if there really were a problem, there would be crowds of inmates in a panic right now. <laughs> the evacuation protocols. You've got a point. Okay, seems we need to get back up to the surface and... Uh, by the way... Yeah, how... What is causing that much of a tremor on the surface? I believe today is this month's pipe cleaning day. Wait, seriously? Ah, yes. Have you completed your release papers? Yep. Uh, it's you two. Oh, God. Are you leaving now? Jump scare, Sejuin with a gun. Right. Today is our last day in prison. But now that Paimon says that, it doesn't feel like we were confined here. It's actually been pretty nice. Oh, Sejuin is so cute, especially the back with the little wings. Oh, yeah. Paimon feels fond of this place now. 
then be sure to come back and visit. I'll miss you. Oh. If you've signed the release papers, then you're free to go. The guards will escort you out. Like, girl, when is she running? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. All right, sure. Let's go. Oh, please give us some wrist -like booty shots up and down the stairs. Oh, there's the butt. Ah, so you do have a polite side, I see. <laughs> After being down here for so long, I imagine you must feel like you're lacking companionship. Shall I come along too? Oh, no. Why are we saying no? Let us say yes. Yeah, don't worry. We'll come back to see you. Uh, Paimon really likes the cafeteria here. The chefs sure do know how to make good grub. Not her liking the prison food. Convicts the next time I see you. <laughs> we'll do our best to stay out of trouble. Well, it seems our work in the Fortress of Mirabeat is finished. That's the end of another chapter in our journey. And since Nervalet was the one who asked us to come here, we should probably go report to him now. Next up, the Palais Marmonia. You're going to see Monsieur Nervalet? <laughs> Please pass on our kind regards. I'm sure just your regards will do, no? Oh? oh, I believe it would be the polite thing to do. Risa said, You're don't right. involve me. I've heard the Palais has been terribly busy these days. Uh, tell him that I hope he hasn't been overwhelmed by the recent string of troubles. Wait, what? My quest locked? What did that say? Please check the details. I'm so confused. What's quest locking me? Is it this one? Mine was like that too. It's at the bottom. Click to view details. Hold on. A certain stamp. Why do I even have this? Okay. Hi, Emilio. I thought they fixed it too. I usually don't even take quests, so I'm surprised that this is even in my quest log. Where Where is this quest even located? Oh, is it the dude on the inside that you talk to? Oh, I think I know what this quest is. Yeah, I think I did this quest because I needed the rep and I did like two out of the three or something. How does this lock you? This is like such a weird quest to have you locked out. I'm obviously not gonna read it because I only read the Archon quests. <laughs> The guy who fainted. It uses the area. I hate that that's even a thing. It's so annoying. They need to, I feel like this is something that they do need to fix. Like, you shouldn't have quests making you not be able to do other quests. Like, I've never experienced a game where this is like a thing. Hopefully this doesn't take a while. It's a mobile game. <laughs> All right. This is what happens when I don't do my quest and then now I'm gonna skip it and then I'm never gonna know the lore that was in this. Though, was there even anything interesting in this quest line? I don't even remember it. I don't remember the beginning either. I remember it was a lot of talking. 
Not that I remember. I'm gonna have to cut this out of the YouTube video. <laughs> Some moments later. I'll put that screen, the SpongeBob one. Process the document? Oh my god. The back and forth is wild. Just details the stresses inflicted on a Fontaine office worker. <laughs> Irrelevant. What do you want, Cornelia? Don't you have a Taylor Swift song to be a part of? The fuck? She's kind of giving T Swift vibes with the blonde. I wish you could skip through these like cutscenes. This, you guys, I'm telling you right now, this is literally the exact reason why we need a skip button. And I stand by that. Cause I would be using it right now. They, I don't know why they don't want to give it to us. Like, please. I think this quest line was about information leaking from the Peleus. Oh, I mean, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> the fucking fainting. Not him fainting with the booty up in the air. The stress, the stress just caused him to pass out. Who just faints? Most people faint backwards, not forwards. Probably they want to increase playtime without actually giving endgame content. I know it. It's always that. Oh, good. It was done. Look at that. All right. Thank God. Back to the back to the Archon quest. The Palais Marmonia sure is buzzing with activity today. Oh. Halt. Huh? Oh, it's you two. <laughs> Apologies, Hope. Monsieur Nirvillette did say you'd be welcome at any time. Yeah. Excuse me, would you mind helping me take a look at this report? I'll be right there. Sorry, I've got my hands full here, but you can see yourselves in. Sadine's stopping us for no oh, reason. so busy. Seems a lot has been happening. So when's everyone drowning? <laughs> Oh, Daddy! Hello. You've come at the right time, but you'll have to wait for just a moment, as there are some urgent matters I must tend to first. In the meantime, please, have a seat. If you'd like to have something to drink, let the Melusine outside know. That's all right. We just ate. Very well, then. Let's take a break over there while we wait for him to finish his work. What work? This reminds me of that clock, by the way. Okay, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna literally stare at him. All right, I should wrap things up for now. <laughs> okay. Are you done with your work? Yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. Does he Today know what the rumble was the from? You were released from the fortress of Meripede, and it appears that you've managed to complete all the release paperwork. That's right, and we came here to see you right away. You and Paimon tell Nivellet everything that happened since the primordial sea incident, as well as hmm. your dream. Oh, the the child radio. dream. Judging from your description, that cannot have occurred in any ordinary waters, but rather something like the Primordial Sea. Interesting. A whale of that size and shape cannot usually be found in the waters of Tevat. Therefore, we can only assume that Child is presently immersed in Primordial Seawater. Can't be good for your health. Primordial Seawater? What the hell? And is he okay? Most people wouldn't be capable of entering in the first place. I'm not yeah, how did he sure get in? I could have gotten there myself. Yes. What is it? Oh yeah, the tremor. Oh, right. Paimon felt it too. We asked the Duke, and he said it wasn't from underwater, so we figured you might know something about it. It turns out that I have just received a report about this particular matter. In fact, that's exactly what I was busy with a moment ago. The source of the tremor was here on the surface near Poisson. After the shaking stopped, the water levels in the like we're novice from at an alarming rate. <gasps> the water levels rose? Oh no. 
Yo. Fortunately, the water levels only rose for a short period of time and have already returned to normal now. That's However, weird. I still have a bad feeling about the whole phenomenon. If the change in water levels is connected with the leaking primordial seawater, then the situation in Poisson may be much worse than it appears. Navia should be in Poisson, right? We need to go check on her. I would also like to go there as soon as possible, but I'm afraid I can't leave just yet. We must immediately formulate disaster prevention plans for the surrounding coastal areas to avoid potential catastrophes. But I thought they sealed. To 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 first. I thought I'll they sealed the primordial the water. Once I finish things here. There's no time to lose. Let's get going. Please be careful. How are the water levels rising if primordial water has been sealed? <clears throat> okay. Also, TL, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. Sussy. Oh no! What happened here? Looks the same. Oh, never mind. It does not. That looks fucked up. Oh my god! All the bridges are broken. Nadia should be around here, right? We need to make sure she's still. Uh, I know it means we need to check on her. It's like raining in here. We haven't seen a single soul all the way here. Oh, this is getting scary. <laughs> what will I ever do now? Oh God! Look, there's someone on the roof over there. But like, what if they would Just they dissolve? Stay put. We're coming up. Watch your balance. Uh, all right. Just hurry. Like, wouldn't they have seen the water coming and avoided I'm, it? I'm not young anymore. How will I survive on my own? Wait, what? <laughs> My Desiree! Oh, he looks pretty sad. <laughs> My leg! <laughs> My leg! How could this have happened? Oh my god. It hurts! Just hang in there. Help is on the way. You can hold my hand if it makes you feel better. Is help on the way? Because it's just us. Oh, is that Navia? Taylor Bay, I'm coming! Oh, fuck. Oh, it's Navia. She's over there. Hey, Navia, are you okay? I love her eye color. You're here. We heard there was a situation in Poisson, so we came as quickly as we could. Yes. As you can see, the water level suddenly rose. It caused quite the disturbance, in fact. I wonder how sudden it was. What's... What's up with her? There was a wounded resident next to a building southeast of here. We've already transported him to safety, but we've run out of medical supplies. He's wounded? How badly? He fell, so it's probably a broken leg. He's pretty shaken up. When the water level rose, he desperately climbed up to the roof. Once the water receded and he saw the ground, he became terrified and eventually... He jumped down then. Find the leader of Squad 1 and tell him to take the wounded resident to see a doctor. He should know where to go. Understood. I'll take over his search and rescue mission in the meantime. All right. You'll be in charge. Where's her little two buds? Uh, I'm sorry. Where were we? What are what are our two buds names? Uh, One silver, right? In Poisson? Uh, right. Allow me to explain. A little earlier, we suddenly heard a loud noise. 
At first, everyone thought that something might have exploded in the waterways. Okay. Melus? Oh, that's the name Melus. Pouring out from everywhere. The rushing Wait, from everywhere? A little odd, almost like the unique color of primordial seawater. So was it Some primordial seawater? Didn't realize the danger and thought it was just ordinary water. Oh shit! Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water <gasps> didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, oh no! They suddenly disappeared. They were all dissolved. Those who realized what was happening started to flee in a panic, desperately trying to get to higher ground. Many were injured in the stampede, and some, some people fell from significant heights. Yeah, it's not really, there's not really a good escape plan in the Poisson, you know, with the bridges and everything. It's not really, you didn't really the think Spina about Dira that. Sula initiated rescue operations as quickly as possible, but there have been a lot of casualties. Fortunately, the water began to recede after some time, and the chaos came to an end. But like, how? Where is the primordial water the coming from if it's sealed? So the lower levels of Poisson are still hazardous. To ensure everyone's safety, I've asked the people there to leave as soon as possible. No one knows if this could happen again. Yeah. All we can do for now is try our best to help evacuate the residents. Oh, they're we so still screwed. Haven't completed the head count, but. We'll have some numbers soon. Fontaine is so screwed. And all of this just came out of nowhere. Like, they don't even know how the, the primordial water is getting in at this point. It was point. quite frightening indeed. <laughs> I only wish that everything that just happened was a bad dream. Damn. Is there any way we can help, Navia? Thank you for being so willing to help in a moment of crisis like this. You don't know how much it means to me. I really can't express how grateful I am. Don't say that, Navia. That's what friends are for. Where's my losing silver? <gasps> no, no. Demoiselle, we've got a situation here. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I'll be right there. Sorry, I need to go for now. What do you mean? Yeah, she goes. Seems it might be a while before she can take a break. Is Paimon just oblivious and dumb? Okay, the wounded are being tended to, and we Does she even know? More support has just arrived, so. Suppose I finally have a moment to focus on my own matters. Of course, we should remain ready for anything and continue doing our best to rescue others. I'll be sure to have everyone at the Spina di Rosula ready to render assistance. Traveler, Paimon, would you two accompany me to my father's grave for a moment? Huh? Right now? What? Thank Why? You. Why the father's grave? Is there something there? Why? Did she like hide something there? Ugh, it's pouring out here. Oh, oh fuck. Wait, the water levels aren't rising, are they? Oh shit. It's fucking raining now. Oh, this ain't good, y'all. Wait, did something else happen? Wait, it's raining, Nivellet. Hold on. Now it's not raining. Maybe it was just in game. Not a lot of people here, huh? Well, given the time of day and the whole situation in Poisson, Paimon doesn't think there'd be a ton of people here visiting graves. Yeah. Right. That's how things are now. The living are so exhausted she... that they've no strength to spare any words for the dead. She sounds uh, really sad. Navia? Oh no. <laughs> Navia, what's wrong? Sorry. I... I just... Malus and Silver. 
<gasps> ever come back here again. No! What should I do, Papa? Has she not gone through enough, bro? Huh? What happened to them? Everyone agreed on the rescue plan, but still... I was the one who initiated it. They were helping evacuate the residents, but they couldn't Damn. leave in time. And... And they were caught in the seawater. <laughs> they, they have to come back, right? What should we do? Shut I've up, known Paimon. them for so long. I can't deal and with Paimon, man. I know they man. weren't afraid. But I could at least hold a funeral for my father. And I know where he rests. But as for Malouse and Silver, they're just... Gone. I just can't. Everything looks so clean after it rains. Even the gravestone. <sighs> I didn't expect that you'd enjoy a glass of red wine in front of Master Callus's grave. They're like her I best friends. Besides, the scenery here isn't half bad. See, it's not just me. I always want to bring something when I visit Papa. Perhaps we might even have a picnic. He wouldn't be angry, would he? Ah, how could Master ever be upset with you, Demoiselle? Aww. Yet the cemetery is the home of those. They're like kind of like they're kind of like her like her, they're, they're kind of like caretakers in a way. No matter who you are. Like like almost like an uncle, like you know what I mean? Dance, <laughs> they kind of like filled that yet. role a bit. But when I do, I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. <laughs> hey, stop joking around. No, and he can't even be buried because he was dissolved. That way, it will save us both the trip to see each other whenever you visit your father's grave. Oh, fuck. That makes sense. In that case, could I be buried on his other side? Oh! All, They're killing you, me. Demoiselle, the two of us could certainly be considered Master's closest companions, no? Personally, I believe we fill those shoes just fine. <laughs> this is so sad. Are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Seriously? All right, all right. I'll remember your requests. But I'd really prefer not to talk about this stuff. And what do you mean by saving me a trip? I'd make the journey even if I had to visit you two somewhere else. I promise My heart. to let them rest in peace here. My heart. But here I am breaking that promise. <laughs> You're not breaking it. I'm sorry for letting you see me in a mess like this. I don't usually cry, really. Paimon doesn't know how to help you feel better. But, well, she understands how you feel. I had always thought I could make my wishes come true. But now that I think about it, that never solely relied on me. Many things can only be accomplished with someone else's help. This is how they're starting the Archon Quest? They're starting it this so sad? Much. By contrast, I could do nothing for them. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. You can spend as much time as you need here, Navia. We'll stay with you. Thank you. Right now, you don't know how much that means. By the way, you can have a look at this. It's a list of victims from the incident that took place here. Oh god, how many are there? Burnett, Giverny, Francine, Jesus, Marina, Daisy Ray, Joanville, Julianne, Esson, as well as Malouse and Silver. So, everyone else is safe. But still. It's okay. I, I know what you're thinking. And. You're right. We lost Malus and Silver. But we were able to save more than we anticipated. Still sad as hell. The overall outcome indicates that the cost was worth it. I feel so bad. Oh my god, I just want to give Navia a hug, man. That way, Navia. 
One person might be saved at the expense of another, sure, but that isn't something we should ever consider a trade. Malus and Silver were not the price for saving anyone. They're heroes! You're right. Thank you, Paimon. What you said just now was pretty amazing, actually. I'll remember your words. She looks so oh. good in this lighting. Uh, Seems you've become more eloquent in the time since we last met. Uh, what do you mean? What? Name? What? What are you <laughs> doing here? What? Uh, is everything going well on your side? Yes, my people are carrying out the mission according to your request. All the residents of the have been evacuated, and we're preparing to relocate to the higher ground. As for these supplies, we have everything taken care of. There is no need to worry. So uh, Arlequino's helping? Okay, why do I like Arlequino? Sorry guys. Oh my god. <laughs> my nose is running. And this is a stupid ass quest. Oh god. <sighs> <sighs> Thank you very much. No, I, I've always liked Arlequino, but like she's like, she's genuinely trying to help, which is just interesting. Wait, do you two know each other? Yeah, yeah, we do they? We just met recently. Right, Miss Navia? Hmm, usually, I would call this a coincidental encounter. That doesn't quite fit this time. Right. Besides, it never even crossed my mind that a Fatui Harbinger would come looking for me. Thanks to the Knave, Spina di Rosula received generous support from the Fatui, which allowed us to complete the rescue and evacuation work so quickly. Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive developments. We were already in the area, in any case, so it was nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't trust Arlequino now. You know, I don't... I can't trust these Harbingers. Like, Child almost killed all of Leeway. Like, how about if they're just doing this on purpose to get in the good books of Fontaine and look like the heroes? That said, I must say that you're a lot sharper than you let on. I'm sure you understand what I mean. Oh, not you calling her dumb. I apologize for all the ways in which I tested you previously. We've never worked with a Fatui before, and it's extremely important for us to know who we're working with. My subordinates have reported that Fatui soldiers have been observing water levels and taking head counts in various locations. Interesting. They've also prepared a large amount of emergency supplies. I'm quite surprised. Yeah, it's quite coincidental, Arlequino. This is nothing to brag about, nor do I intend to. It is simply the way of powerful organizations to act forcefully, whether they are doing good or ill. You've witnessed that firsthand, in any case. I mean, I guess she's anti-Farina, so maybe she wanted to do this to just get under Farina's skin. As I've told this traveler before, I know of the prophecy, and I intend to prevent the impending disaster. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. As such, do not be troubled by this token of our sincerity. Perhaps one day, you'll also be able to help me in the same way. Ah, there it is! There it is! It's the, it's the, I'm doing this for you now so you feel like you owe me later. Without your help, there would have been many more casualties. I won't forget your kindness. Mm, I see you, Arlequino. Furthermore... I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. I only wish that my people could have arrived a little earlier to prevent this from happening. Stop! She already looks like she's gonna cry Please again! Me. You and your subordinates did everything you could. As Paimon said, Malus and Silver didn't choose to sacrifice themselves for any specific person. And they weren't the price paid for other salvation. They chose to become These shots themselves. look so good! I've never liked hearing people put it that way. It's like trying to relieve pain by saying some noble sounding words. But right now, there's nothing more suitable. We really did become heroes. You're right. I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Navia. Water is life to Fontaine's people, and it also spells disaster. It's no wonder that people always say that prophecies represent fate. 
Unfortunately, Ooh. I've never been one for such opinions. Oh. So you're one who will try to change fate then. Tear. Of course. That is why I'm going to Hotel Wouf de Tear. I still have some things to take care of, and the children need my attention. Oh, the Fatui children. By the way, Traveler, Paimon, one more thing. All right, then we'll just... <laughs> uh, huh? This isn't right. Paimon thought you would ask us to walk with you for a moment so you could tell us something in private. That is a clever and useful conversation technique, which I do like to use when necessary. But there's no need today. It would not hurt to have Miss Navia listening in. Oh? Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work together when we had the chance. She want, is this more is this more Farina Dow? And she's gonna say it in front of Navia? Cause she she wants to get a lot of people involved you in this. You and I both know that there may be issues with the primordial sea. Previously, it was the fortress of Meripede's sluice gate, and this time it was the water levels in Poisson. These are both signals. Indeed. Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the House oh, of Hearts intel. Intelligence Network with you. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. The ruins date back to ancient times and seem to be worth investigating in many ways. Okay. Judging by the dating of the ruins, they may be related to the prophecy and the coming crisis. The situation is becoming Ramiria? more urgent, so any pertinent information will prove extremely precious. My people initially came to prepare for ruin exploration. Unexpectedly, this disaster struck. And at present, we're all busy prioritizing the rescue effort. So that's why the Fatui were already in Poisson. I wanted to take the, of the children ruins. along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet have all been dispatched to higher ground to assist affected residents. Linny told me that outside of the house, the person they trust most is you. Oh, please. Which is why I want to give you this task. The House of the Hearths members see each other as family, but Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet said that they also see you as such. Even you are not from the house. Feelings not mutual though. I don't trust those that trio like further than my like hand can take at me. I'm sure you already understand how earnest they consider their friendship with you to be. Oh, that somehow makes Paimon feel kind of happy. The intel I just shared about the ruins could fetch a high price. Oh, but since the children consider you family, it's only natural that I freely share it with you. Are these ruins? ruins right? Are these ruins something that we haven't seen yet? Like they just added Excuse it in? Me, but may I tag along? Yeah, no. Navia, you stay on ground. You wish to join, Miss Navia? No, no, we don't bring Navia because if that place floods, like I just have a feeling she's gonna no. But are you sure you're up to exploring some ruins? You need to rest. Well, I'm sad, yes. But I can't just go back. And plop myself into a chair by the roadside yes, you can. and do nothing. Yes, you can. Because you're pretty. And pretty girls don't die in this, this story. There's no, no. There's no point in being depressed while we still have a disaster on our hands. As my father's successor, I must live up to the hopes he had in me. <sighs> Besides, I'm also doing this for myself. I need something. A distraction. To keep my mind off Malus and Silver. Okay, go make macaroons or something. <laughs> Since you put it that way, I have no objections. What do you say, traveler? All right. The ruins are to the south of Poisson. Here's the map. Oh, I'm excited to see these ruins. Come on, let's heck up and get going. Oh, please give me lore. Give me lore. Give me dragon spine level fucking ruins right now. Oh, it's over here? Interesting. Hold on, hold on. Actually, let me go back. Okay, okay. Well, we we already have a pre pre rendered um headstone for Navia, so at least we know that just in case, you know, just in case there's already one there. Yep.
You got Hu Tao on speed dial for this entire Archon quest. You think Farina's your favorite character? I wonder if I'll agree. Here. Right now. Why is everything so fucking dark? Using free to burst for all that? <laughs> yeah, once every Archon War, remember? <laughs> All right, all right. Is it underwater? Oh no, the, it's just like right there on the side. Yeah, they definitely added this in because this was not here before. So, are these the ruins the knave was talking about? Is it? Oh, it's not an actual place. It's like a little domain. Please. They seem to be pretty ancient, all right. I wonder if you can go back in later. Just be careful. Is this a one-time? Is this a one-time? Palace of Secrets! Oh, it's a one-time domain? Fatui Intelligence? Alright. Oh, I didn't take a healer. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I guess I'll have to switch between Farina's versions. Picture frames on the walls. Interesting. What the fuck? Emerge right yeah. here. Yeah. Pose. Wind strike. A sight to behold. Right now. So I'm just trying to look around to see. This reminds me of the um what's it called? The world quest area. Yeah, the institute, yes. Oh! Be so fucking for real. Be so fucking for real. I don't even have revive items. <sighs> Do I have that thing that lets me cook wherever? Hold on. What's the item that just lets you cook wherever you are? Um, I don't know if I have it. I don't think I do. I can't even. Official can solo? <laughs> This place has also been contaminated by I don't have eggs. Water. Yeah. Wow. A lot of it too. A Fontanian would most likely dissolve the moment they fell in. My intrusive thoughts would push her, but like it's fine. Right. You can't go down if there's primordial seawater. It's too dangerous, and it won't be any help for you to just stay here. Don't get by my wrong. I'm not saying you're useless. It's just you are. That... You are. No, you're right. I can't do anything in this situation. I'll leave this to you. 
Yeah, how does she get out now that, like, that they kind of are stuck? Things? Maybe the only way left is forward. Kind of want to taste it, for real. In that case, do you want to wait for us here? Mm, uh, the water levels here are unstable. And there's a chance the water will rise. So staying here wouldn't be safe either. Yeah. I'll go together with you. Perhaps we'll find the exit just up ahead. All right. Come with us for now, then, but please be careful. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. Oh, no, it's a dead end. Hmm. Let's try climbing over from the side. Can I touch the water? Oh! Nope. Why doesn't it let me though? Cosmos over in Fontaine. <laughs> Walk on it with Farina? <laughs> I wonder if it would have let me. You just killed Farina <laughs> and Navia? Y'all got eggs or something? <laughs> like, can I find some food around here? Whoa. This kind of reminds me of the tower. What the fuck is this? These look so weird. They almost look like D&D &D dice. Why is Miko dead? I fell through a crack and she broke her legs. Door of Resurrection? What about a... Where? Like, literally, I can't. I truly can't. Wait, there's something oh, no. Oh, no. oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Stop! 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 What do you mean? What do you mean? What in the Spider-Man is this? Uh, huh. Wait, isn't this... <clears throat> Demoiselle? Huh? Is she dead? Demoiselle, what are you doing here by yourself? Oh Would you my be standing God. here till dark if I hadn't come to get you? What the fuck? Maybe she just wants some time to herself, Malus. Hmm? Oh. Uh, was I... Was I sleeping? Is she dead? Are they really going to just kill the whole Fontaine cast? Yes, it would appear so. Uh, I must be tired. There's no way. Oh my god, is that why they're running her in 4.3? Oh my god. I did not think Navia was going to die. That's quite possible. However, you were the one that suggested we go out for a walk. Oh my god, this quest line already is gonna kill me. She's like in the afterlife. It's literally like black and white almost. Oh, right. I nearly forgot. <sighs> it must have slipped my mind when I dozed off. I haven't had a nap today yet. 
Have I? Like they're like underwater. It looks like they're like underwater. It's a familiar feeling, yet something is a little strange. Is something the matter, demoiselle? Yeah, we're all dead, oh, Silver! No. no, I'm fine. Or they like maybe wait, maybe they're not dead. Maybe they're like in limbo. But if you get swallowed by the primordial water, you all like absorb each other and become a giant ocean. What the fuck is going on? I was just trying to recall why we came out for a walk. Do you remember Mr. Giverny? He'd requested our help before with foreign merchants who had a debt dispute with him and we'd resolved the matter not long ago. We were headed to see how things were going with him at the moment. What is going on? They're like not, what is happening? Ah, oh, right, yes. <laughs> I remember now. Oh, Miss Navia. Ah, Mr. Malus. And Mr. Silver, too. <laughs> it's good to see all of you. Look on the bright side, Senora could be playable. I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up right now. Don't try to make this better than it actually is. Wait, these are the people that got swallowed by the primordial thing, too, aren't they? I feel like this name was mentioned. How have you been? I've been great. Thanks to your help, those bothersome merchants finally realized that I wasn't the one they were looking for. Why, I wasn't even the guarantor for that person. They were knocking at my door day and night. Even my neighbor, Obina, was getting fed up with them. Oh Sometimes my god. Sometimes a force is required to calm someone down and get them to listen to what you have to say. <laughs> That's right. Oh, by the way, Burnett, what was it that you wanted to give to Miss Navia again? Oh, oh yes. One moment, I have it right here. Miss Navia, these are some flower seeds that I prepared. Please take them. They're flower a very seeds. good variety, and they'll become very big and beautiful once they bloom. I don't know what we would have done without your help, so this is a little token of our appreciation. I hope you won't refuse. Ah, did you cultivate them yourself? Okay. Thank you so much. I'll certainly take them. Malus, we do still have some empty flower pots at home, right? Home? Girl, you're in hell! You're in water hell! What do you mean home? With Satan? Why, we can have as many pots as you'd like, Dimas. <gasps> They're saying that you should have as many pots as you want because this isn't real. They're all dead. Oh my fucking god. Perfect. In that case, we'll swap out some of the decorative plants for some of Mrs. Burnett's flowers. Oh, she's Delulu. She doesn't even know. Very well. Wait. Something seems to be off here. Navia, throw yourself off of, throw yourself off the bridge. Do it. Maybe if you die again, you'll undie. Like if you die twice, you know? Like you'll come back. Maybe that's how it works. Excuse me, madam. If I'm not mistaken, your name is Burnett correct that's right is something wrong yeah bitch you're dead uh, no it's nothing this is the first time we've ever met but your name seemed familiar to me i must have heard it when i was discussing things with your husband previously before he died i've heard this name before <laughs> i can't deal with this recently i'm sure of it and why are there so few people around here where did everyone go? Any day now, Navia. mind the time, demoiselle. We still have important things to attend to today. Huh? Uh, we do? Like what? Well, now, did you forget? Miss Navia, here you are. I've been looking for you. Please, come to the Opera House. Your trial is about to begin. Wait, trial? Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, when you die, like, like, like in the Bible, in the Bible, where you get judged. Oh my god, she's gonna get judged by Celestia. Oh my fucking god. My trial? Wait, why would I need to go to the Opera House? Yes, she's right, demoiselle. It's just about time now, so... We should get going. Oh my fucking god. Girl, run! Go run! The unknown god is gonna sentence you to the abyss! Uh, Alright then. Oh, she's so fucked. Say hi to say hi to say hi to Skirk for us, girly. 
Say hi to Skirk. Love you, bestie. Thank you, Raiden. Look, it's Navia. She's here. Oh my god. Two attendants are with her. <sighs> Goodness. Oh my god, it's really it's Everyone's really happening. There sure are a lot of people here to see the trial. And they all seem to be oddly excited about something. I even know some of these people. Kalina, Desiree, Joyville. Are these all Julian, dead? Oh, they're all dead people? Essen. Why are so many people here? And as for the judge... Huh? Where's Mr. Oh my god, who's it gonna... Who's it gonna be? Please sit in the defendant's seat. Don't worry, Silver and I shall accompany you. Who's it gonna be? Right. But are you sure? Oh you my god, is it gonna be? Oh my god, is it gonna be a Geria? Oh, <gasps> the old Hydra Archon. It wouldn't be allowed, but today is an exception. Hey, Hold what kind on. of place do they think this is? Come on, do they have any idea what they're doing? Seriously. <laughs> Enough with the whispering! Could someone please tell me where Monsieur Nervillette is and why I am standing trial? Yes. My dear Miss Navia, have you not yet realized what you've done? In that case, allow me to explain. As all here know, you are Master Callus's successor, the head of the Spina di Rasula. Someone held in high regard by every soul in Poisson. What she charged with, babes. Let's get to the charges. After you took over the Spina, you treated all of us just like the late Master Callus had. If anyone in need reached out to you for help, you responded. Listen, I already know these trials are bullshit, and that Oratrice de Mechanista Annalise is fucked in the head, so you know what? This shit's rigged as hell. Not only you, but your butler, your subordinates... Nearly everyone in the Spina di Rasula fought for the well-being of those in Poisson. These all sound like good things. Like, okay, so why am I on trial? For being a good person? <laughs> Wait a moment. Aren't you just proving Literally. that I'm a good person? Yes, correct. Absolutely right. And that is why you stand accused. You have helped so many people get through so many difficulties. You are one with us. We are inseparable. Oh no, not the not the primordial water fusing we are one thing. Big family, all of us who are from Poisson, inextricably linked. And with you being so important, we couldn't possibly do without you. Oh girl, run. You don't you do not want these icky men with you. Therefore, this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty, and you shall stay here. You will be together with us forever girl pull out pull out the pull out the freaking gun pull out the parasol gun right in this man's huh? head what are you saying uh, everything you have said is correct i have indeed done a lot for my hometown and i would be willing to be with you all but what is the purpose of having me stand here like this what is there to discuss where okay and also like who's running this trial oh. Well, if that's what you think, then I have no further comments. <gasps> How wonderful, Miss Navia! Girl. <laughs> I know all these people. Why are they laughing? <sighs> I seem to remember now. Oh? Yes, I get it. This trial is... Wait just a moment. This isn't right! You know I get it, Silver Melo Malus. Malus. What was that, Mr. Malus? Our conclusion is very clear and unanimous. Let the court judge her now. She's guilty. Guilty of what? Being the prettiest bitch in Fontaine? Because that's the only thing I'm seeing here, Joanville. Stay here, Navia. You're one of us. Girl, run. Demoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you here forever. I wish to exercise my right to defend our lady. Mr. Swanfield, you only know of Navia's goodness, but nothing of her utterly independent mind. She was born a free and independent spirit. 
She has never been tied down by anything. Indeed, even the death of Master Callus couldn't stop her. This is weird. Her actions cannot serve as proof that she identifies herself as part of any group. She merely acted as an individual, extending her hand to help others. Please do not mistake her actions as being otherwise. But like, what's the difference? Why, why is this what happens when you get into the primordial sea? Like it tries to like swallow you? Really? As an individual, you say? Don't forget, we are all Fontanians here. This is the nation of justice, the nation of Hydro. Is that? Even if Miss Navia only voluntarily rendered her assistance, that doesn't change the fact that her beautiful soul must return to everyone. Oh. Water accepts all, blends with all. It will surely accept her kindness. I would like to, I would like to decline that offer of joining the hive mind. Like, I would, I would much prefer not being a part of the Everything hive mind. Everything is measured here in the nation of Hydro. And in the end, everyone shall meld together. Thus, when a unanimous opinion emerges, that opinion represents justice. You and who, bitch? That's your now opinion. I speak for everyone. Our opinion is consistent. Navia should stay. We and Navia are one. And you would call this justice? Preposterous. You are merely jealous that Demoiselle still has a chance to exist as an individual. Ooh. Have you forgotten how much you all once longed to become individuals? Pop off, to become independent? Do you, Do you mean, mean to defy, defy our, our justice? justice? Oh, I don't like Your this. Justice is I don't like that. We acknowledge it. I didn't like that. As you said, we can I would also slap them. have our own justice. Silver and I shall defend Demoiselle. And that is how we will enforce justice. Ugh, my head. It hurts. Demoiselle. Silver, it hurts. My head is spinning. All I can see is stars swirling in front of me. Stars. Everything that seemed odd from the very beginning. Corita, Desiree, Joyville, Jolien, Essen, and Mr. Giverny and Mrs. Burnett, who we met earlier. Even Malus and Silver. I don't want to admit it, but... But they're all dead. Oh my god. Don't be oh my afraid. God. And don't admit guilt. We will protect you to the very end. Absurd! Who are you to say that she cannot be judged? We are the majority, and in the nation of trials, the this is so weird. Is absolute justice. We are the will of all. This is like justice on crack. Don't let them escape. We shall keep Navia here with us. Navia, get that parasol and start swatting at them. And Mr. Silver, must you be so stubborn? How could the two of you possibly hope to stand against the collective? Oh my god, this Do is so resist. weird. This judgment is fair and just. What was that? Navia belongs to us. After all that happened, she should Wait, not be left alone. The Oceanid! What the fuck? What are you saying? No more excuses. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So jealous. Jealous. <laughs> How could she possibly be an independent individual? What the fuck? Are the oceans like evil? What's with these people? Who's jealous of her? She belongs to us. Miss Navia. She. Girl. Silence. Nuvalette? Uh, that's. How is he here? Monsieur Nervillet. Such commotion is prohibited in the court. The accusations you just presented are nonsense and cannot constitute a proper trial. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. In this, what I shall hear no fuck? objections from any unauthorized party. But how is he here? Oh, thanks, Monsieur Nervillet. Please leave with me, Miss Navia, while there is still time. But. Go on now, Demoiselle. This is I'm so chance confused. To leave this place. What, can't bear to leave us behind or something? Loose. <laughs> My apologies. I couldn't resist making one little joke once I realized that... 
This shall be <gasps> our last no! goodbye. No! No more crying! Stop! We're loose. Silver. Quickly! You must come now! Goodbye. Farewell. Oh, this damn story is gonna kill me! No, wait! Just a second! Hey! Navia? <laughs> You're awake. Good. Oh my god, Nuvalet's there! I must have been dreaming. Malus and Silver were still alive, and they were... They were defending me at some insane trial. Did they, like, pull her out of the primordial water? Like, like, is this what happens when you maybe just, like, ingest a little too much? It looks like you're all right. Did all the sad feelings cause you to have a nightmare? Paimon could give you a hug. Is Paimon good? The ruins you were exploring suffered a cave-in. When I arrived, I found you falling toward the water. You were just about to be dissolved within, but I... Hmm? What is it? I think I saw two Oceanids protecting you. It was only for a moment, perhaps even a fraction of a second, but they gave me the chance to retrieve you. Weird. Were it not for their intervention, I would not have been able to rescue you before your consciousness dissipated. So it looks like the hive mind of the primordial sea is not really always in agreement, which is interesting. Wait. Did you say Oceanids? You mean like what happened with Vache? Perhaps those two Oceanids were the people you saw in your dream. <sighs> I always told them that they didn't have to protect me. <sighs> to think that they'd keep doing so even after death. <sighs> Please come with me. This is so weird. Nivellet, are you okay? Hmm? Oh, I am quite all right. I thought it was Oceanids, but I guess, I guess it's Oceanids. <laughs> Wait, what do we want to talk about? Why are you so stiff all of a sudden? Oh, Paimon knows. You're the type who feels awkward when there's nothing to talk about, right? So I merely thought that we should give Navia some time to herself. Huh? Why didn't you just say so then? Don't you think it's even more awkward to call us over like this and then have nothing to talk about? <laughs> hmm. I suppose so. By the way, Sejuin sends her regards. This is what we're talking about? Ah, oh, Sejuin. I hope all is well with her these days. Her work in the Fortress of Meropede has not been too much for her, has it? No way. Don't worry. She's doing fine down there. She's an amazing head nurse. Priority is. I see. Well, that is good. I have always worried that Sejuin would need a lot of time to understand the world of humanity. Just Ooh, Sejuin lore? Oh, and the Duke also says hi. Oh. Even though Sejuin made him do that. He hopes that you haven't been overwhelmed by all that's happened lately. Thank you. I have indeed been busy lately. And I also hope that everything is going well in the Fortress of Meropede. Uh, he still doesn't know what to talk about. Uh... Let's chat about something else then. Oh, what do you mean? No, Nivellet, uh, you're probably quite the swimmer, huh? I can't. Yes, of course. Okay, but when are we getting the Nivellet Speedo skin? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we'll get a Nivellet Summer skin. Hmm. Uh, this isn't going anywhere. Uh, let's try something else. Um find these ruins did the knave tell you yes in fact i had arranged to meet you in poisson but when i arrived i discovered that the fatui were helping the residents evacuate they had even transported a large quantity of supplies to the area amid my astonishment i ran into the knave and we had a chat she informed me that she had asked you to investigate the ancient ruins here did he know about yeah, these already? We originally planned to meet up with you, but we thought you might still be busy with all those official documents. We didn't think exploring the ruins would take very long, and who would have thought you'd wrap things up so quickly? <sighs> oh, 
Continue I'm investigating. Sorry to have kept you all waiting like that. I'm feeling much better now. All right. I guess we should get going again. Will you come with us, Monsieur Nervillet? Yes. I'm just looking if around you all. my company. Like, where the hell are we? Oh. By royal decree. As you wish, main Fräulein. Interesting that there's hilla trolls here. This has to be part of Ramiria, right? Oh no, another unstable path. Oh Watch god. And that's why you get caused by everybody. Oh, the music is intense. Miko, I can't revive Miko. She's just dead, y'all. Oh. Guys, I don't even got fried eggs. You guys know I don't cook. I don't cook in this game or in real life. Why is everything breaking? Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Strike a pose. Let my name echo. Chicha. Odd reveal by fallen leaves. Adorn my night. <sighs> No rest for the wicked. Oh! This realm oh! no home for a princess. Um. <laughs> well then, um. right now <laughs> let the door of resurrection do its job what the fuck is up there I haven't even seen a door of resurrection yet. What is that? Like what is going on? Wait. It reminds me, it reminds me of Chasm. Wait, what the fuck? Did the Electro Girls dirty? Don't remind me. Wait, it's a door. No! It's a door of resurrection activated, but where is it? Okay. Looks like we've reached the end. This is the place. There should not be any other hidden spaces in the vicinity. The path sure had some twists and turns, but it turns out that this place isn't actually that big. I mean, it's pretty big. There's something on the wall. 
What's on the wall? Huh. Stone slates. It seems like they were put here as an offering. Uh, could we take them down and have a look? Uh, perhaps we should just leave them be for now. Hmm. What do you mean? There are four locations in total, but only three stone slates. The slate that should be in the first empty spot is missing. Great. Love when they do that. The surrounding walls also show signs of damage. There's something written below. Let Paimon see. Uh, reason dictates that this nation be destroyed. I shall record the history of its future here in its past. Uh, Wait, what? Up. Reason dictates that this nation be destroyed. I shall record the history of its future here in its past. It's a prophecy. It's a prophecy. It feels like someone left these slates and these words here for a purpose. But does he mean that Fontaine should be destroyed? Wait, but does he? Wait, he, why is there he? Why is there a gender to it? What is, what is that? Why, what? Do they fuck up there? Like, where are they getting the he from? That would fit the circumstances dictated by the prophecy, yes. Indeed, the slate's contents correspond to it. Take the second slate, for example. There's a person kneeling here. Whoa. She seems to <gasps> Wait, Celestia. And there's a whole bunch of other people behind her doing the same. This is, this is Celestia, She's right? She's facing this... Uh... What is this? Some kind of island in the sky? I don't know. Is I don't know if this is Agiria. Maybe it's further. Maybe it's even further back. But this looks like Celestia's wrath. Also, very interesting to see, like the way they depict Celestia and its like attacks against the people, are not like it's literally like almost like like space lasers, like lightning and like bolts of fire. And is that Lady Farina in the third image? Did the Hydro Archon fall into the water? Huh? Did the people of Ramiria create Farina? And is that a ring of people around her? Paimon doesn't quite get it. Are they all in the water? The fourth image. I know this one. This exactly matches the content of the prophecy. Of her alone on the throne, alone, like with the water ri risen. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Hmm. But what's the first image? What's before everything? The fuck did he just do? More information should be hidden in these slates, but I fear I cannot easily uncover it. Most likely due to us missing the first slate. How do we get the first song. slate? Don't blame yourself, Monsieur Nervalet. Deciphering ancient stone slates isn't one of your duties. Ooh, Paimon's getting the chills just looking at these slates. This says that it's the history of the future, right? That means the prophecy's sure to come true. I really hope it doesn't mean that. It definitely does. Well, Paimon feels like these images are kind of weird when you look at them together. Huh. Hmm. Huh. The issue is the order of the third and fourth images, right? That's right. If the images are in chronological order, shouldn't the fourth, the waters drowning Fontaine, Come before the third, where the Hydro Archon herself falls into the water? That it, but that is, I don't feel like that's what this is depicting. Like, right? Like, this isn't, I feel like this is something else. And yet the order is reversed here. Second image is also quite concerning.
If we go by timing, Lady Farina only emerges in the third image. That means that the person in the second image might be the previous Hydro Archon. Egeria, then. I had never met her, but her. Oh, I wanted to know that. To okay, so that's good to know. I was so, I was so, so curious if Egeria knew and Nuvalet knew each other. Interesting. The previous Archon kneeling before the floating island in the skies, as if confessing a sin. But what was the sin? Is this what happened during the Conrian War? Is this how Agiria dies? Did she herself commit that sin? And if not, why would she be in such a posture? Also, I'm still wondering why these ancient stone slates are here at all. Judging from their contents, could this place be the origin of the prophecy? <laughs> Does that mean that someone, or some people, once saw these slates? The first slate, then, is probably what the sin is, I'm assuming. Like, if we were if we were to have that first slate, it's probably Egeria committing the sin. But maybe the reason why the, the why it's destroyed is because they like maybe Celestia doesn't even want to let people know what the sin itself is. It seems that any further clues will have to come from Farina. Yeah, wait, does Farina know about In this? That case, True. There's no time to lose. There's nothing else to be gained here, so let's head back first. Yeah, we better get somewhere safe for now. This is so interesting. Who created these slates doesn't matter? No, it definitely does matter. Who like no, the person who created the slates definitely does matter cuz they know. Hold on, chat. Fuck, can I not take a photo in here? Y'all, one second. You, Charlotte? I don't even have Charlotte. You never know. You never know where you're going to need this for a lore video, you know? The way Farina's just standing next to it, like, yeah, that's me, bitch. That's me. I don't know if I have the, the camera gadget. Wait, this one? You can't use it in domains. Yeah, see, now y'all look dumb as hell. Y'all look dumb as fucking hell. It's okay. Ooh, it gives you the justice ones. Those are the ones Farina uses. <laughs> Thank fuck. Now I can actually revive my team. <laughs> Let's split up here. I'm going to check on what's happening with the Spina. You know how it is. There's some things you just need to be there for yourself. You still have energy for that, Navia? Paimon's already beat. <sighs> just head back to the Fluvsandra and have a rest then. Thanks for keeping me company all this time. I'll depart as well. Thanks for your hard work today. Rest! rest? After seeing that, we're gonna I'll rest? Talk to Farina tomorrow morning to ask about the stone slates. No, 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 I wanna be there. I'm sure that you're concerned about this matter as well. If you have time, drop by my office. I will share the results of our discussion with you. Are you really gonna talk to her about this directly? Will that be a problem? 
for real. Uh, Paimon's getting a little scared now that it's come to this. She has long been harboring secrets and will not Ooh. give them up easily. Which makes it all the more my duty to ensure that she understands the present situation. Nuvolet doesn't trust all her. Right. We'll leave it in your hands then. You're probably the best person to talk to her anyway. I will be carefully considering my words tonight. Traveler, Paimon, our safe house at the Flubsandra is always open to you, as ever. So please don't think you're an imposition. <sighs> All right. I'll be on my way then. He said she needs a reality check for real. <sighs> but can I heal? Can I heal my party? Ah, no. We're <laughs> I still haven't healed. Please, please, my electro girlies are dead. Welcome back. We've got a special menu prepared for you two tonight. Yay! And there's good food too. Navi, uh, no, the boss is the best. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh my God! Not the cake. That's a hint. That's a hint. Simon's already starting to forget what happened today. Oh! Mona! Please. Is that who I think it is? Huh? I saw the edge of the hat and I knew. It's you two. What are you doing in Fontaine? <laughs> Mona, what are you doing in the broke section of Fontaine is a better question. Interesting. As usual for her. She's a sewer dweller. Did the stars not tell you that we might meet here? Seriously, nobody just uses a scry glass whenever they've got time to just see who they'll meet on the road. Still, <laughs> we didn't expect to see you here. Uh, wait, you're not a Fontanian, are you, Mona? She's broke and rich, but she's kind of broke because she spends her money too quickly. But she to buy expensive books. Well, I have some business to attend to here, so I booked a hotel in the city. I was just out for a stroll when I bumped into you. You Quite booked a hotel in the city and you bad. took a stroll in the sewers. The rat antics of Mo Mona. Why did you think I was from Fontaine, though? Is that because Magistus doesn't sound much like a mom's dad or surname? Oh, she's like, she's literally calling out the community. <laughs> Being like, guys, I'm not from Fontaine. I will not. She's literally saying this so that you know, like, she's not going to die in the primordial water. Uh well, I used to have my own surname, which was, well, some other thing. Either way, the old hag told me when she took me as her disciple, the, the old first hag, step to be a great astrologist's pupil, was to change that name. <laughs> I can't. There's nothing for it, really. She really is amazing at astrology, so I changed my name to what it is now, according to her wishes. To my surprise, however, Magistus is not the name of some ancient house or clan. Uh, it isn't. Nope. Although it is used by us in place of surnames, it generally just means great. Get a notepad stuff and this is worth writing down? What? She's just talking about her name. Wow! Imagine including a boast in your name. Wait, are you going to have to put that into your genealogy as well? So her name is what? Mona the Great or Great Mona? I reckon so. In any case, I'd give my disciple a name like this as well, if I were to take one. Okay. Wait, master's Ask name? Answer, Barbaloth Trismegistus. Whoa, that's a, that's a long one. ass name. Does it also mean Barbaloth? Wait, why does Barbaloth seem familiar? Like, why do I feel like I've heard the name before? Barbara found dead. Yeah, she's B. It's a demon name, right? Hex and Zirkle. Isteroth. Barbaloth. Look bar look up Barbalo. 
Barbalo is the name or epi epithet of a female entity who appears in Gnostic text as the first emanation of the androgynous supreme being as the cause and appearance for uh, of the plemora the fuck so prominent was her place amongst some gnostis that some schools were designated as barbalote Wait. She's described as a never aging aeon in a virginal spirit. Wait, and the father wished to manifest himself and who went for successive beings whose names. So I'm just reading. Is there anything interesting? Hmm. Are there any other characters in the game with demon names that aren't gods? Not to my knowledge besides Paimon. Does this mean we might see B later on in patches? Because child, I have no clue right now. Sorry. <laughs> the holy book of the great invisible spirits refers to the divine emanation called, quote, mother. <laughs> Not another mother. How the amount of mothers in this game. My name means Mona, the great astrologist. As for the old hag, hers is, in plain speech, the thrice as great scholar of the stars. Just take it as a title specific to astrologists. Interesting. Thrice as great? That's so heavy. Like three times as great? Is that what it's saying? I know, right? <sighs> That's just how she is. She used to call herself Magistus, actually, but when she took me in, she changed her name to Tris Magistus. <laughs> Talk about excessive. She said, "You'll never be, you'll never be me." Magistus is thus the calling card of our school, so to speak, which makes it about the same as a surname. It's all our right. school. You, it. you can look into it further should you need to study astrology more deeply. Are you Mona? You're from Mondstadt, right? Well, they really wanted to clear this Mondstadt, up. Yes. My parents migrated to Dorman Port and <gasps> traveled with the old hag for a while, after which I settled down in Mondstadt City. Not the Dorman Port mention. Wait, so her parents are there. Oh my god, are we gonna get to meet Mona's parents? Eventually? Oh, that's a good thing then. At least we know you won't be dissolved by Fontaine's waters. Hmm, speaking of that, I'm sure you're aware that a bunch of things have happened here in Fontaine, right? Yeah, so why is Mona here at this local, time? But I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. Oh, is she going to do, like, a hydromancy like thing? That was the main reason, yes. Just a while back, the Steambird invited me to take part in a panel and speak about the circulation of the prophecy as an astrologist. They have enough time for panels when people are getting fucking dissolved? The invitation was sent quite early on. I don't think anyone expected Fontaine to be in this much trouble. What do you make of that prophecy, Mona? Just tell us what you think as an astrologist. Oh, yeah, I you want her opinion. A long way to make things more certain and less scary. What I can tell you is that I'm an astrologist. And that this prophecy concerns the fate of Fontaine. Even that of Altevat. 
Ascertaining wait. this is akin to reading the fortune of the whole world. Wait, 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 wait. The Doomsday Clock reference there with all of Tavat. I'm afraid that this is not something that just anyone can do. If I could do it, you would no longer call me an astrologist, but a visionary. But on the flip side, the prophecy is so huge and powerful that it must surely come from a powerful visionary. True. Its contents involve the fate of the world. Disregarding it would be a mistake. Was like a Gyrium, like a really insane Hydromancer, maybe? I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there. A visionary? Sounds really powerful and all, but does such a person really exist? <gasps> or was it Nicole? Do we think Nicole is the one that came up with this prophecy? Because Nicole could see like the Ermin soul changes and everything. Like she's kind of like, like she has that like perception, like that like way to like cut through. Of course. The old hag could do it. And I oh. bet there are others amongst those Hex and Zerical colleagues of hers who could do something similar. Could you help me get in touch with your master? Uh, uh, are you sure? Yes! Hmm. All right. I'll help <gasps> you. It isn't often that I see you with such a serious look oh on Oh my god, Hex and Zerical lore? I'll tell you once I hear back from her. Thanks, Simona. You're amazing as always. Oh, well, this is something only I can do after all. So <laughs> I love her. Quite welcome. That's the greatest of astrologists for you. Of all the people we know, you know the stars the best. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> she loves the compliments. Spirit. Mona just loves, loves compliments. Oh, sorry. I came to see what all the commotion was about. If there's anything you need, do not hesitate to inform the Spina di Rosula. Oops, I <laughs> guess we were getting a little too carried away there. Well, I'll go tend to my own business now. If I receive any news, I'll be sure to come find you two again. I need more Hex and Circle witchy characters with cute hats. And there she goes, quick as rushing water. And here we are with the Spina guy giving us suspicious looks. <laughs> if Paimon hadn't spoken for you, it'd be you getting all the weird looks. <laughs> the things Paimon does for you. I can't. Hmm. I need a tea party with all their models. No, 100% agree. Ah, good morning. To be honest, I'm still feeling kind of sleepy. <sighs> but it's time to get up, Traveler. We agreed to go see Novelette, so let's pack it up and get going. The Farina tea. The Farina tea. The Farina tea that we were about to witness. Hold on. Let me heal my party. <laughs> I need to heal so bad. All right. Is this the part? Is it, I, like I'm like, is this the part where she gets accused? Like, is this what's gonna happen? Like, I'm so curious how they're gonna get into this trial with Farina. Oh, that does not sound good. Uh, is something wrong? Monsieur Girvelet and Lady Farina, they, they seem to have gotten into a dispute. Like... The tea, the tea. Like I said, I've already explained everything. And yet the problem has not been properly solved. There is little space for excuses between us. It is not my intention to offend you. But please, tell me where you stand. You are the Hydro Archon Fosalor, are you not? Look at this. This is a list of the victims from the recent Poisson incident. <laughs> yup. Yup. You mean, they're all... Yeah, they're dead, girl. They're dead. On your we watch. did not arrive in time to avert this disaster. And I will not have it happen again. <laughs> I will say this once more. You must tell me everything you know. Yesterday, I found three stone slates in some ancient Ooh. ruins near Poisson. Do you know anything about those? Look at his face. He's pissed. Seriously? You're questioning me like this is a court case now. I don't know anything about that. But you found them in some ancient ruins, you say? 
That's correct, which is why I came to ask you some questions. There should have been four slates, but one of them was missing. The other three feature different images that seem to correlate to the prophecy. <laughs> the prophecy? Mm -hmm. The second of these slates depicts the previous Hydro Archon Egeria kneeling before a floating island in the sky, as if confessing something. Do you know nothing of this either? I don't. I've never seen such slates. Liar! I'll ask you again. Do you really have no information regarding the previous Archon? Papa. My deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria once had to confess to, or apologize for, a certain sin. If anyone would know about it, it should be you. All gods don't have the same secrets, you know. She was herself and I'm me. Is it really so strange that I know nothing? Yes! I understand your concerns, but I'm sorry. I just don't have anything to tell you. <sighs> mm -hmm. Forgive me for saying this now, Lady Farina, but I have long known of your various secret investigations into certain matters. Oh? There are several indications that you have been investigating the prophecy on the sly. This is not strange in itself, considering that you are the Hydro Archon. But it is strange that you should also claim to not know any of Egeria's secrets, as well as do nothing following your inquiries. You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself to be, nor are you a fool. And yet, your behavior is very inconsistent. Oh, he's on to her! <laughs> Watching me all this time, have you? I didn't think you were that type. <laughs> you. Well, since you know about my secret investigations, then you should know I'm actually working to take care of it. Okay, but what There's are you actually no point doing? Questioning or suspecting me? You're the Eudix, but you're still my subordinate. You should be following my lead. You can take her. Just in me, your Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. It'll all turn out fine. Girl, there are people dead. There are people That's dead. That's all I have to say. We do not discuss this matter again. No, press on her. Press on her, Nuvolette. Oh, <laughs> the opera's about to start. Toodles! Be so for real. <sighs> Nivlet, I'm gonna need you to have a bit of a backbone. Oh! I low-key wish. Did you not notice us standing by the door? I really I wish we stopped her. I really she wish we stopped smiling. her. Smiling. <sighs> smiling. She didn't seem in the mood to care if we were listening in or not. I assume you've been outside for a while now. Yeah, that oh, was embarrassing. You know. Seems Farina didn't even realize we were here. She was in a great panic, though I cannot discern the reason. Our discussion reached impasses time and again. A state of affairs that we cannot allow to continue. Still, I do not understand. Dialogue is the basis for understanding. Grab her by her extensions! So why does she keep refusing Just... to engage? We need to make her understand how dire it is. Everyone in her inner circle has noticed that she is hiding some secret. The issue is her attitude. I fear that she will not reveal anything unless absolutely forced to. Oh, is this where the trial a situation comes in? in? She will have no choice but to speak. Oh, oh shit. Like what? Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Perhaps we must have the Hydro Archon experience just such a scenario. Oh, like, shit. Farina's seen so many trials, and she's really good at dodging questions. How do we make sure that she won't just slip away at the first chance she gets? We will need to consider this thoroughly, join forces with various parties, and then do what we can. <sighs> if at all possible, I would prefer to recuse myself from this affair, but we must prevent the prophecy from coming to pass. This may be cruel to her, but all Fontaine is in crisis. The information a god possesses is too precious, and so we must take a chance on this. Hmm. But who will lend us their aid to do such a thing? Arlecchino. It's gonna be the Fatui. No way we're working with them. A few days later on a boat? 
Well, that's everyone, huh? Speaking of which, it was pretty smart of you to think of hiding near. Where are Plus we? Plus was just involved in oh, a disaster, so it's presently devoid of people. That naturally makes it the best choice. And here you are, drinking tea like it's the most natural thing in the world, huh? <laughs> That's what family should do. Sit and enjoy a leisurely time together. <laughs> it's nice to enjoy tea here, you know? Care for a cup? Uh, Where's uh, Remine? Lend me your ears, everyone. Huh. Or perhaps one of you might like to start us off. How about you, friend? Oh, I love uh, Remine! Mm -hmm. No. I don't think I can. Oh, my heart. How about you, good sir? I fear that I will cause the mood on this boat to become as somber as it is in court. <laughs> well then, I guess we're lucky we've got a local like me to organize things. Wonderful, the spotlight at last. I guess I'll be facilitating things from here. That oh, Clorin! Don't you think? Oh! oh. You might be right. Anyway, oh! To cut to the chase, our friend here, the Traveler, has brought us together to discuss something. I see it. I see it. I see it. As for what that is, well, uh, let's start by saying that we'll be pooling our efforts together to create a series of traps. Can we just talk about the fact, can we just talk about the fact that the lesbians do be the geo-electro-trope? Can we just talk about that? Like, it was Ning and Beto, and now we're here again. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, how intriguing. Well, I hate Lenny. It's just I hate an Lenny. expression, really. <laughs> One that I just learned from <gasps> Glorand. Oh. Used on the spot. So, let's invite her to explain in detail. Huh? Didn't you say that you would be facilitating this? Speak up, Glorand. Oh, come now. Your work doesn't involve much public speaking, right? This is a good chance to practice. You might I even can't. have some fancy oratory tricks to impress your boss with in the future. I'm dad. I see. And what does my boss say? <laughs> he is glad that you consider him your boss. Do go on. How are they? So wait, they're going to trap Farina? In that case, <clears throat> do any of you have experience hunting? Not that I recall. Fremenet and I once used a wooden stick in a basket to catch wild rabbits when we were younger. Oh! As for Lynette, um... Oh, right. You were sick that day, weren't you? Uh, I've also gone diving to catch some fish before. Does that count? Uh, I'm afraid... No! Of you may or may not have heard, but Fontaine once played host to a group known as the Marachose Hunters. Though that was their name, they did not hunt animals, but rather various monsters left behind by the ancient dynasty of King Remus. Today, Fontaine's monster population has already thinned greatly, so the hunters have blended back into society, Artifacts picking up, up arms in mm -hmm. other lines of work. They even left a unique methodology of hunting in their wake. But how is this relevant? comprises of the following components. Bait, a trigger, trigger. and a containment device. Sometimes a lethal implement will also be necessary to deal with the prey. So, if we were to build a trap together, right now... But wait, for Farina? choose to build it with? For me, I would prefer something basket-shaped. Pigeons and rabbits will see the bait and naturally enter the snare. Our line of work requires a deft hand, and we're some of the best in the industry, so... You can count on our techniques. <laughs> We're gonna lure her with you cake! Some of those techniques while moving the people of Poisson, didn't you? My subordinates mentioned that you even performed some magic for the bawling children. Yes, and I even managed to gather some intelligence in the meantime. I'm quite the multitasker if I do say so myself. Lenny, I'm just afraid flexing. I can't claim that as my strong suit. I prefer more stable methods. Like placing bait in the water and waiting for the fish to come within reach. That's the kind of method I would count on. <laughs> Calm and steady. Exactly the kind of person who would catch loads of fish. And I can be their assistant. With discretion, I'm sure. Hmm. I'd probably use some sort of mechanical animal. Papa once bought me some small clockwork squirrels, mice, and such. 
When placed in the forest, they can attract others of their kind. I remember that you liked those too, didn't you? I did. And that would be a good way to go about it. Oh. If they're realistic enough, animals of the same kind will follow They both like the mechanical squirrels! It's so literally love! I fear I do not have any related experience. <laughs> He's like, bro, I'm a dragon. <laughs> like, what? Sense. You usually solve problems directly, without the use of any such tricks. But I do have one more question for you, monsieur. If we were to create a trap now, how would you design it? Hmm. I would like for it to be effective, but bring no harm to the prey. A more gentle trap would be ideal. Hmm. Kind, as always. However, our intention doesn't necessarily change the containment device and the type of implement we need. If we wanted to kill the prey in one strike, we would need a powerful implement. However, that also goes for prey that must be captured and safely contained. Wait, why is that? Only a hunter who's a true expert at subduing their prey can snare it without harming it. The line that divides life and death is often exceedingly thin. Uh, so are we going hunting together? This is all like a huge <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> ourselves as hunters it kind of works but maybe it's still not the best metaphor if our means of capturing and dealing with our prey is to put them on trial then the hunting metaphor is actually quite accurate but we shall require much more courage than any hunter to judge a god a being whose seat is an exalted throne oh and that and that goes back to that um that line in the um Making an enemy of the divine. Oh, so that's what's going on. Sounds very interesting. Lenny's like so down. What you need is to s need is simply the secret she is keeping. Attempting to take her secrets is an act of sacrilegious disrespect, but must be done to prevent Fontaine from seeking in, sinking into the waters as we're told in the prophecy. There is neither hunt nor prey, but there must be a trap. Interesting. You didn't read those? It's basically saying, it's basically saying that like, in this scenario, going against God makes sense. I don't know why they felt the need to include that. Like, I thought that was pretty clear, but they, like, just wanted to really spell that out. Whew. It's been a tough few days, hasn't it? So much has been happening. It's getting really good right now. Nothing's even happening. <sighs> Hyman didn't think the meetings would go on for so long, but everyone seemed pretty fired up, huh? Hyman thought they'd be at least a little frightened. Well, from an I know, I need to change your glider. Story, but everyone else just looked a little surprised. Do you feel more confident after meeting? Uh, well, it's hard to say. Hyman doesn't have any experience with this sort of thing. But with you around, Hyman sure will do great. After all, you're the most reliable person in the world, aren't you? <laughs> uh, huh? Something wrong? Uh, did you just pour some tea? Hyman didn't notice you doing that at all! What? Uh, then what's <gasps> that? Does that look like- Hyman wait, isn't that Alice's cup? cup? Don't be frightened. Uh -oh. I'm just joining you two for tea. Wait, wait, wait! Saying anything wait, now. she's like there! <laughs> That's Nicole! Ah, oh, have you forgotten me already? Wait, you are familiar. You're the voice we heard from the sky in Sumeru. Girl, she's there! The voice from the sky, hmm? I fear that description is wrong. Though, not completely wrong. So she has the ability to be invisible. So interesting. Why do I feel like, chat, why do I feel like Nicole is not going to be one of the elements that we have and she's going to be light? Like, the ability to manipulate light with, like, invisibility, do you know what I mean? Huh. 
You're feeling lost now, just as you were feeling previously. I sensed that confusion and thus came to you. Guiding people is an irresistible hobby of mine, after all. Who are you and what do you want with us? Mm, consider me a passerby, just accepting a commission from my friend's disciple on a whim. My friend's disciple on a whim? Is she saying is she saying that Mona's master sent her? I'm so confused. Is she saying Mona's master sent her? Did did B did B send her? No, I know you guys are saying Mona, but we told Mona to get Mona's um master B. But this is N. The prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. You may view such things as the history of the future. What the fuck? I literally feel like N is saying it without saying it. That we are in a fucking samsara. Like the history of the future. Like this has all happened before. Like you are viewing like this 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 reoccurring What? Then is there any way we can stop it? I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own eyes. Can everything into that so easily be changed? Oh my god, 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 this is crazy. This is insane. Oh my god. I, so she's basically saying, 100%, there was definitely a way that we could have prevented this, but we didn't. Oh my god. I'm freaking out. Ah, so you've caught on. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods... Could things be happening in hidden corners where the god's gaze does not fall? Oh my god, oh my god, wait, 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 wait. This is, the, every line is like... Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspective of the gods, prophecies are future of the perspective of the gods, but things can be changed outside of god's gaze, which is outside of Tevat, like the influence, like... Okay, and the, the the Outlanders, the Outlanders, the Outlanders. That's our job. I I, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. The, I, like it, it goes back to the doppelganger theory. Like only only the the descenders, the descenders, the Outlanders have the ability to change fate, and that is their whole purpose. They are like fate changers because they are outside of the system. Are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the gods perceive? This kind of reminds me of the Melazines. This reminds me of the Melazines. Like their version of their version of reality. Where like they see the world differently. What is she talking about? It all sounds really impressive and important and stuff, but. It also sounds kind of scary. No, N is, N is, N is our girl. N is bestie. Like, she is the new lore dropper. Fuck Dane. I believe that you understand, right? Some things are insignificant, but others you must reach out to change. It, uh, uh, like uh, this is okay sorry i know i'm going line by line but this is giving like you know some things are insignificant like like but there are mo there are moments like key moments where where we must make those changes like those those turning points ultimately fate shall serve as your only guide no matter what will happen in tavat's future all you need to do is to play your part Hmm. This was good tea, by the way. Thank you for your hospitality. Well, that'll I hate be all her. for today. 
I I need more. I need an hour with her. Voice. It's gone. I need an hour with her. Oh my god. Oh, what? I want to hear someone talking. Wait, did N did N talk to us in 3.2? Or was it 3.0? When did N come in with the broken with the broken coffee cup? It was 3.2 or 3, right? 3.3. 3.3 3 with the ermine soul change. 3.3. Three. Interesting. Hey, it's you who's getting lazy, okay? Yeah, with the Wanderer quest line. Well, I see I've walked in on some lively banter. Oh my god, Mona? Mona! Fine, just fine. I went to take part in that Steambird panel. It turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Not all Fontanians are pessimistic about this. One journalist mentioned that sitting around and waiting for the end to come would be wrong, and that they should make their own rescue preparations. I agreed, so we had a brief chat with her. Okay. Uh, did she have pink hair by any chance? Oh my god, Charlotte! Oh, yes, it was Charlotte. You remember her, right? That daredevil journalist. I'm in full support of her view. Prophecies are very important. Yeah, you can't just like live. People allow their lives to be commandeered yeah. by just a few words. You can't just live being like, well, it's all gonna end and we're all gonna die, That's so. Right. Paimon's glad to hear something sensible for once. Ah, yes. About what we had discussed before. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't reach the old hag. I'll try again tonight, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Actually, someone already came over. No, keep trying to reach out for the hag, please. Huh? Does, does Mona know about Nicole? Oh, we, do, we tell them, we tell them, we tell them. Goodness gracious. Are you serious? I believe she came to pass a message to she us. That even the god's gaze has blind spots. Pretty bold if you ask Paimon. Most people would believe the gods to be all-knowing, right? The Hexen Circle members are certainly anything but ordinary. Oh, yeah. As for the mage named N, the old hag has mentioned her a few times. She said that N's sense of direction is incredible and that she loves guiding those who are lost. So N feels like we're lost. I'm honestly, okay, I'm actually so convinced. I feel like this is on purpose because literally, chat, we have not, we have not seen our sibling since when? Like, Inazuma or before? Before Inazuma. And I feel like this is N, I feel like N is kind of being like, we are so busy getting caught up with like everything into that. That we've literally kind of like strayed off of our path of like what our main goal is. Which was our fucking sibling. No, yeah, so it's before the chasm. It's 1.4. It's literally 1.4, which was the first quest, the first Dane quest. Because in chasm, we just saw an image of them, but it wasn't actually them. Like, it's literally been so long. You don't even hear us talking about our sibling that often anymore. But I've never met her. And if she were still alive, she'd be... <laughs> well, suffice it to say that the hag's at least a few hundred now, and n has been around for longer than that. Wow. So is she alive or is she not? Whoa. The Hexen Zirkle sounds like a scary group. But they must really stay in shape to live so long. Their abilities alone are pretty terrifying. If she came to see you personally, then the problem you're facing must truly be of great importance. Well, it's not like Paimon could understand anything she said. Yes, she was quite cryptic, but I suspect she means that there is still a way to turn things around. She didn't say when or what that would be, though, so... Hmm. Perhaps it is something that you cannot know right now. I feel like the reason why N can't be straightforward with us is because it would literally, like, cause a nail. Do you know what I mean? 
Like, it's like forbidden knowledge. Like, she can't just outright tell us everything because we're literally in God's gaze, if that makes sense. She has to talk cryptically so that we can figure it out on her own without, obviously, Celestia being like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And dodging nails, no, for real. She doesn't want to end up like a pep <laughs> with a fucked up back. Traveler, time off? Are you two all right? Oh, we're fine. We're just a little down right now. It kind of feels like the end is coming, you know? Is it Celestia still sleeping? Girl, we have no clue what the fuck is going on with Celestia. I see. I feel that same sense of desperation, too. I guess you could consider me someone who has often witnessed fate. So far as I have seen, it cannot be swayed. But even so, I still hope for and believe in miracles. Astrology oh? is eternal and rational, but fate may not be. It is cruel, but it can also be beautiful. Chat, does it get crazy? Does the story get crazy very quickly? Perhaps that's what N was trying to tell you. Not to lose heart and to believe that what you are seeing playing out I can feel it. is not yet set I can stop. feel it. <laughs> I feel like I can feel this like calm before this storm. Like, I don't know why, but I'm like, why do I feel like shit's about to hit the fan? I did originally think of steering clear of all this, but I couldn't. Even if this is all futile, I still wish to help everyone. If we don't struggle to the last, then how can we face the end when it comes? Huh. You do have a point. Mm. <laughs> there I go, talking about astrological principles again. I love Sorry Mona, such that. an interesting character. Mona start talking about work-related stuff. I oh, I need to get going. It was worth trying to comfort you, even if only a little. I believe that you'll help those who are struggling in the same way I did. I suppose that might be why we always seem to meet by coincidence. Coincidence. Paimon feels kind of moved by what Mona said. But also kind of sad, too. Hey, Traveler. Paimon suddenly feels like going outside for a walk. Let's go. Sure. Let's walk around the city, shall we? Okay, wait. I'll let me change my team. I love Farina, but she's not um, fully built yet to, like, be risking it. Take heart. Victory. All right. Let's go outside, you all. I was crying at 5 a.m. Y'all cried? Sounds like an argument's going on. I can't believe y'all cried. Uh, huh? Our names are written in this newspaper. Uh, what? Let Paimon see. The underwater stronghold, the Fortress of Meripede, has continued in its noble autonomy. But that does not mean that others cannot interact with it. My recent attempts to enter the fortress bore little fruit. Huh. Guess Charlotte still hasn't given up on that. Oh, uh, because of Charlotte. But did an Alvander friend become the focus of this report? A blind adventurer with their white fairy legends trailing in their wake. <laughs> it is they call her a fairy. Once visited the underwater fortress. That's the first time they've kind of referenced Paimon as like a fairy, which is interesting. So while the fortress's interior remains a mystery behind closed doors, do not fear, for the tales of the traveler contain surprises in space. Journalist Charlotte's biggest scoop yet. The Traveler's Trail, World Walker. Huh. Charlotte took so many awesome photos of us and we never even noticed her. It's not the first time? Really? I feel like it's the first time I've remembered. She hasn't been able to get a hold of anything at the fortress, so since we're easier to find, she's using us as the subject matter instead? Ugh, seriously? Well, fine. Those headlines and photos do look cool, so Paimon will forgive her this time. <laughs> I was literally just coming here to grab this little music thing. 
Oh, and 3.8, Klee mentioned it. You know what? I skipped through all the 3.8 dialogues. So that's probably why. <laughs> Should we go in and get something to eat? I thought y'all said this shit was gonna pick up, and here we are having dinner again. Hey, quick! Look! That's that's the limited edition, only 16 slices a day cake! How Delicious the last time we tried it, despite the tense situation we were in. Let's give it another go, but I'm sure it'll be great. That's one that Farina likes, one right? Slice of cake, please. Oh! <gasps> Someone showed up after all. Nah, beat the Melisine's oh, ass! Wait, you're the one from the Palais Mermonia. Oh, are you here to Oh buy my god, cake it's always too? her. <laughs> it seems Monsieur Nervalette was right. You really can eat. Wait, did I oh. say something like that? Oh, okay. That's right. Even he has his own preferences when it comes to food. As for me, I love the cake and coffee here. Do you come here often? Mm -hmm. Usually every day. Every day? It's part of my daily schedule, apart from work. I shall have my cake and coffee. Mm. Uh. The wait, why is Paimon weirded out? what if someone out? told you one day that this place would be closing soon, and you wouldn't get to eat cake here anymore? What would you think? Why is Paimon being so negative? But why would it close? Well, Paimon doesn't know either, but maybe <laughs> maybe the waters will rise tomorrow. You know, like in the prophecy. Is she okay? Paimon's literally doom posing. She's like, you know, like, what if like everyone just died like tomorrow? Oh, the prophecy. Um <clears throat> To be honest, I haven't paid much attention to that. No, uh, still, even if there'd be no more cake tomorrow, that wouldn't keep me from having some today. No, True. No, it's the same for eating in general. You might not be able to eat tomorrow, but if you can do so today, then you should carry on. That's what people call living, you know. Thank you, Sadine. Paimon is insane, as usual. Huh. Don't be sad. Excuse me, could I have two more slices of cake to go? These two, two slices are for you. Sijuin said that this kind of expression you're making is what humans call being sad. How? Oh, you know Sijuin? I sure do. Mm -hmm. She was born before me, and she sometimes comes to the surface to teach us things about humans. Oh, Melazine human classes. She said that Hi, humans bold. are creatures that are saddened easily. Yes, and you can only lift their spirits by feeding them delicious food. So How? please try the cakes here. The depression eating. I've got something else to do, so I'll be going now. You two try to stay in a good mood after eating, all right? <laughs> Bye. Will the Melazines dissolve? Do we know? And there she goes. All right, let's dig in. I'm unsure this cake will be delicious. This is some it's random. This is some random time. scene, though. And the flavor gets even better with a sip of tea. It sure would be nice if we could come. Guys, look, I'm in the Fontaine quest. They called me. They used my name. I've been referenced officially. Sure would be nice if we could always eat delicious food here. They could have said drink. They specifically use sip. Come on now. They did it on purpose. I feel like I'm like hyper analyzing everything. I'm like, what does the cake mean? What does this all mean? Why do we have this meaning? What, oh, what, 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 we're near the Seabird office. Let's go look for Charlotte and have a chat. Canon Genshin character. I was actually the cup. I was actually the cup that N was sipping on. Wow. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, have you seen the article I wrote about you? Mm -hmm. You got some nerve. You just used up to make some quick mora. Prophet split help. I didn't worry about that. I heard that you were in Poisson some time back, so I sent you a letter to discuss just that. It appears you didn't receive it, though. It's all right, though. I've set aside the amount intended for you. I've even set the table with some food. 
So considerate. Really? Well, you're the best! <laughs> you're almost a little too easy to win over, Paimon. If I were a journalist with ulterior motives, you'd be in trouble now, you know. Oh, Paimon knows you're not like that. You're testing Charlotte and her healing is broken? I wish I pulled her. Still, what brings you here all of a sudden? Were you looking for me? When Mona mentioned you, we thought of coming to see you at work. <laughs> I see. It seems you've already bumped into Mona here in Fontaine. So she mentioned me? What did she say? She said that you're a real daredevil of a journalist. How? <laughs> nice. In which the case, Mona mocking. Can this daredevil journalist dare to request an exclusive interview with the legendary traveler and Paimon? How do we have time for interviews when there's literally the seas rising and the prophecy coming to like fruition? So your article in the paper today doesn't count? Oh, of course it doesn't. That was more like live photography. What I'd like to do is dive deeper and ask you to talk about the things you've seen and experienced. Yeah. Are we People are dying, Charlotte. <laughs> For real. Why not? If I say you're worth an interview, then you're worth it. No room for but negativity. Right I'm now, doom course. posting. I'll need a few days to prepare. Oh, in that case, we'll just chat when you have the time then? Oh, so that's a yes? Oh, splendid. I'll tell the editor in chief immediately. I'll have to apply for light. A venue? And props and <laughs> oh my god, it's like a, it's like a so sit down interview. Now. Talk to you later. Charlotte, Paimon's still got a question for you. Mm -hmm. She's one. And what's that? Oh. If, just for example, Fontaine were to be flooded tomorrow. Oh my God, the June posting. What would you do today? Huh? That's the prophecy you're talking about, isn't it? I mean, I do hear about it often, but I've never once thought that the day could be tomorrow. If you're seriously asking, then I might try and think of a way to leave Fontaine. Oh, but I'm still a journalist first and foremost. That means I have a duty to be reporting. For She's literally team. spreading Secondly, panic. I wouldn't forsake my homeland that easily. From what I've seen, most people don't know what they'd do should the worst come to pass. In truth, it might be better just to behave like normal rather than worry over such an end. So in all likelihood, I'd probably still be prepping at the office for that interview of ours. I know what you're thinking. That sounds a bit sad, but I've always believed that it's best to do what you enjoy. Just think about it. If this nation really were to be suddenly destroyed tomorrow, but I still successfully finish an exclusive interview with a truly unique person, then the story I would wind up writing would truly be timeless. I mean, I guess if it even gets out. And then do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd write that story, send it for printing, and use messenger pigeons to get copies out to the various nations as soon as possible. Help, she said going out with a bang. Dreamer, nor am I a workaholic, but I do love my job. And I'd be proud of leaving such an article behind. I guess you could say that I was born to be a journalist. But anyway, that's my answer. And on that note, I'll get back to my preparations. What are we? Are we like preparing? Like, is it it's happening tomorrow? So nice. All of a sudden, Paimon actually kind You're of. You're a psycho. Her. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the sea, shall we? You got Farina? Nice story. Congrats. <laughs> and scenery can be a pretty soothing combo, huh? Looks pretty normal to me. Doesn't look like it's flooding anytime mm. soon. Paimon's been thinking. If it wasn't Fontaine, but all of Tevat that would be destroyed tomorrow, where would we go and what would we do? Is she good? Like, is she good? She's going manic. Like, I don't fucking know, Paimon. The last time I tried to leave this place, I got fucking exiled and my freaking sibling left. So I guess I'm fucked regardless. No, Paimon should ask, if you could choose, what would you like to do? We've always been moving to the next destination, so we haven't spent much time thinking about these kinds of things. We didn't have to either, with us always being on the road and whatnot. Mm. You mean, still traveling? I have to look upon, yes, cherishing every single moment. Oh. Wait, isn't that the trauma is catching up? 
Night while you return to your accommodations. There are so many days passing through this story with us doing like nothing like to prevent this impending doom. Like a week just went by. Feels like you'll grow mold if you stay here long enough. How? But it's still better than the fortress of Meripede, that's for sure. It's not only damp there, but salty too. Ah, so the two of you are still here. Wonderful. Did it make you do Nuvolet's story quest before this? No, it didn't. Oh, you're from the Palais Mermonia, aren't you? Yes, I'm Isadora. Monsieur Nervillat sent me to look for you two before. Oh I heard no. That afterward, you went to the fortress of Meropede. <laughs> Not at all. I'm well aware that you're friends of his. Actually, I'm here to pass along a message from him. Okay, what does Nuvolet yes, want us to know? Inside the opera house, the Mari Chaussee Phantom has declared the incident a small scale riot. Wait, what? A riot? Well, that said, I don't personally think it was that serious. A riot? Like, Arena uh was watching a performance at the opera house. And while she was resting during an intermission, some other audience members suddenly started harassing her. How? Loudly accusing her of doing nothing about the prophecy crisis. As they should. And before she could respond, others started to join in. The crowd continued to grow, and protests against the Hydro Archon started to break out. As they should. So people have started to put the blame on Farina. Guess they finally found an outlet for the pressure they've been under due to the prophecy. I agree. People will naturally rely on gods, as is customary. No worries, me. When people feel threatened, gods are also the first to be blamed. So what happened after that? Is Farina okay? Seeing that the situation was spiraling out of control and that further argument was pointless, she, she ran away she again. Tired of this and left in a hurry. The Marsha oh Saint Phantom my had God. their hands full maintaining order and did not catch where Lady Farina had gone. Only when things had stabilized did we realize that she had gone missing. So, you mean she's still missing? She's a runner. She's a track star. That's right. The Marsha Say has dispatched many people to search for her, but we don't have any leads yet. That said, I don't think there's much to worry about. She is a god after she's all. She's fine. Even if she were to fall into the hands of rioters, what could ordinary people do to her? Good. Monsieur Nervillet sent me to tell you about the situation, but he didn't say anything else. Don't worry. This is more than enough to go on. Thanks for keeping us informed. Maybe Arlequino got to her. <laughs> is that so? Well, all right then. In that case, you two take care. I'll be heading back to the palais now. Well, so Why are they... we should hurry over to Poisson then. Oh, it was this part of the plan? If we know Farina, she won't try to fix things in this situation. Instead, she'll look for a place to wait out the heat. This was the plan all along. And as we also know, she may be loud and dramatic, but she doesn't have a heart of stone. When Nervalet was talking to her in the Palais Mermonia, and she heard about Poisson, she couldn't hide her sadness and remorse. It would be hard for her to ignore being accused by the public today. Paimon thinks Farina's probably taken the opportunity to slip away to Poisson and try to relieve the sense of guilt that she's feeling. I mean, I guess. Well, what do you think? Paimon knows the answer, of course, but Paimon can do the analysis to back it up, too. In that case, there's not a moment to lose. Poisson, here we come. Poor Farina, running away from her problems consistently. I feel like this is like this actually the. Looks deserted. Could Farina really be here? I feel like this is one of possible? the worst places for her to go. Because if people see her here, they're gonna just like literally point out the death and carnage that happened here onto her directly and be like, you fucking caused all this shit. You know what I mean? Oh, there she is. 
Good luck, girly, if people find you. Oh, that's Farina, right over there. She really is here all on her own. <laughs> Stay quiet! <sighs> Should I just give up? This is all meaningless. What was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> give up, Farina. There's no point in holding out. <laughs> holding I'm out sorry. for what? But what can I even do other than to repeat meaningless apologies over and over? <laughs> Who's that? Don't worry, Farina. It's just us. <laughs> so it is the you, switch up. Lawn traveler from another land. Why, I almost thought you were someone from that mob of my ignorant subjects. Come to kneel and beg for my forgiveness. Farina, you were crying just now, weren't you? <laughs> the things on your face are obvious. Poen's like, girl, weren't you just sobbing? Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Uh, oh, <laughs> I remember. The show at the opera house earlier this morning was so moving. I'm still trying to process it. Drop the act, Farina. We can see that you're going through it. <laughs> Who did that uncivilized rabble think they were? Disturbing my enjoyment of the arts. They even dare to tell their archon. I must teach them a lesson. Teach them a lesson. <laughs> I can just imagine their twisted and frustrated faces once they realize that I'm nowhere to be found. Oh, and I'm sure Nouvellet and those people from the Marish to say Phantom are freaking out right next to them, too. <laughs> Stop trying to act tough, Farina. You're actually beyond devastated right now, aren't you? I... Uh... Of course not. Damn. Hey, there she is. The Hydro Archon's over there. Oh, I told y'all. After her. After her? Girl, uh, you're cornered. Marina, those people seem to be after you. Does she even have Hydro Magic? Like, is she able to even do anything? Uh, they are. <laughs> they are just some rabid fans who want to cut oh, the Oh, she's line Delulu. They haven't been able to meet me in person, aren't they? Oh, she's Delulu. Oh, that's against the rules. I can't let them get their way. Ah, Marina just ran off. She's really she's really good at running, eh? We have to catch up with her. She's really good at running. <laughs> I fucking can't. Be so for real. Where did she go? Oh, they went the wrong way. This should be the place, right? Hey, Farina! I can't. There's a good hiding spot over here. Quick, come to Paima before the rest of them catch up to you. Uh, wh what? What is this place? Hurry, they're almost here. Fine, fine. I suppose haste is warranted. Lead the way. Girl, you're an Archon. Just, like, teleport yourself out. God, who? God, my ass. We love a bunker. Also, hi, Alterium. <laughs> the fucking I totally breath. thought they had caught me. Uh, no, I mean, I nearly gave in to the sheer enthusiasm they displayed. <laughs> this place is not what I called soundproof. You might want to lower your voice. Uh, Help. You're right. Yep, that's a good girl. Uh, oh? Uh, what's happening? 
Uh, the ground's shaking. Is it an earthquake? Oh no, more people yeah. dissolving. A quake of this kind preceded the flooding in Poisson, didn't it? It can't be. It's happening again. Well, there's no need to worry too much about that. Nevertheless, made some emergency plans, so the evacuation should go a lot smoother this time. X to dough. Yeah, I hope you're right. But the people of Poisson, they've already... Now that she's taking off her actual feelings, she's starting to look a little stiff. It's true. I've been investigating the prophecy for hundreds of years. Finally, she speaks. I once had informants all over to that, searching for clues and feeding information back to me. Wait. The Oceanids? This sounds like the Oceanids. I tried all kinds of ways, too, to hold back the sea. Anything to keep the coastline from advancing. But all my efforts proved to be futile in the end. Really, the truth has been clear to me for a very long time. Oh, is it the normal people? <laughs> the normies? Wait, they never explain why the oceanids leave. Oh, 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 there's so much to talk about. We cannot make an enemy of the divine. No matter what we do, the will of the heavenly principles will have its way, and the prophecy shall be fulfilled. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So they're saying that the prophecy itself is not is from is from is from heavenly principles, it's from Celestia. It's Celestia's prophecy for Fontaine. But why? <laughs> Give up. I do love the sound of that phrase. It would mean finally coming to terms with fate, but also for me to finally be free. Indeed, I've thought about giving up so many times, mm. especially after we almost lost Poisson. But can you even change fate, Farina? Fate is really unreasonable, isn't it? It has no heart and obeys no rules. The prophecy has only just started to come true, and so many people have already lost their lives. But just now, it all became clear to me. I still don't have the right to come to terms with fate on behalf of everyone else. Okay, what? As long as the final moment hasn't come, it's still not too late. Okay. Don't worry. I... I will keep hope alive for everyone until the very end. <sighs> the exhaustion. Oh, that's enough for now. How? I got the impulse to play the stricken maiden. But honestly, considering my rank and station, that wasn't a good fit at all. <laughs> Don't take any of what I just said seriously. <laughs> let Fontaine fall to the whims of trivial prophecy. I'm gonna need her to take a Xanax. Come on! Paimon could have sworn you were actually being honest just now. Frina, you might not have to shoulder this burden alone. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share the burden with share you. Share my burden? That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. It's that it's that photo. It's the photo of the people and her. Like she was It's literally oh my god, were we correct? Were we correct from yes from the other day? Like she was literally created to prevent this prophecy, like we said, from the very fucking beginning. Don't tell me. Don't spoil it for me, chat. A witness. Yes, I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. Descender? In other words, you never belonged here. Go on. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? Okay. If that's the case. Uh, 
What is going on? I... <sighs> oh God. We can't have the fucking floods happen now right when we're, we're getting the lore. Wait, what? No, did we trick Farina? Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my opening performance. We tricked Farina, we tricked Farina. No, I, I think we did, I don't, we. No, I feel bad, I feel bad, oh no. Now, without further ado, we may proceed to the trial of our God. No, we shouldn't have done this. We, we, no, we, we could have got the information on our own. Uh, so this is what it is. Yes, you deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dramatic stakes. Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the god of justice, the embodiment of justice itself. Does it not strike you as even the least bit oh, absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? May I interpret these words as your refusal to stand trial? In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your <gasps> through a duel. Oh! Yo, the balls on Clorind. The balls on Clorind to do that. You you would draw your blade against a god? Oh! <clears throat> <See, laughs> She's not talking about like bug. You made up your mind. Raymond can't believe it. She, she just surrendered. <laughs> What's going on? Did I just see an Archon surrender to a, a human? Yeah, that's a bad look. That's a bad look, babes. Well, how utterly humiliating. <laughs> Lady Farina, what is the meaning of this? Uh, shh! <laughs> it would seem that there has been a misunderstanding. To be clear, the raising of both hands is not always an indication of surrender. Looking for excuses again, huh? I raised my hands just now to indicate my acceptance of the trial. No duel shall be necessary. I will admit that I've been running away for a long time. I'm sorry, everyone. I was unable to protect the people of Poisson. It is my duty to stand trial for my crimes. Ooh, she's playing into it. She's playing a role. She's playing a role. This isn't real. You are not the only ones to be disappointed in me. I, too, am exceedingly disappointed in myself. <sighs> but now, it is time for the Hydro Archon to show you her courage and resolve. Can she just show us, like, that she can actually do something as an Archon? Like, give us, like, like can she even create, like, a bubble of water, you know? Fill a cup? Something? I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice! Oh, she hit that this line. This time, I will protect you. Applaud and rejoice. One of the most outrageous and fantastical arcs known to the opera Epicles is now unfolding before your eyes. Mark my word. Oh, oh, the this dancing. This shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows ever to grace the stage of Fontaine. The trial of the Hydro Archon, Fosalor, will now begin. Woohoo! Sir, sit the fuck down. Oh, now we're making history. I hate Fontaine. <sighs> Like, literally, New Valette is all of us. Literally all of us. Like, please be so fucking for real. Why does it feel like Farina just took over the whole thing? Like, come on. Didn't she just get 
forced to stand trial for her crimes? Also, even though she's still acting super dramatic, she is taking this seriously this time, right? All right, then. Who will be my opponent in this trial? Oh my god, is it gonna be Nivellet himself? The asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. <gasps> oh! Is that so? Very well. Then please speak, witness of Tivat, my accuser and fated opponent. G the girl on girl, the girl on girl. I can't. No, we literally were. We were so close. We're fucked up. I can't lie. We're fucked up. No, the betrayal is crazy. Oop. Also, Being please allow me to serious. ask the final question before the trial begins. Just how much work did you do to force me onto this stage? A bit, and what about it? And what about it? Well, we did do a lot of prep after the meeting <laughs> that day. I can go over the tasks assigned to the Spina di Rosula, since they were rather straightforward and easy. Navia, the president of the Spina di Rosula. Most of the people who participated in the disturbance this morning were my subordinates. Oh, they did it on purpose. They were, they, everyone was they acting. They changed plain clothes and came to the opera house as regular audience members, waiting for the perfect opportunity Damn. to incite insurrection against you. Insurrection? <laughs> Not Fontaine being the U.S. What the fuck is going on? What is happening here? The people's resentment against their Archon has been building as more and more of the prophecy is fulfilled. A spark was all we needed to turn smoldering anger into a flame. Moreover, according to our understanding and analysis of you, when something like that occurred, you would likely flee the scene and head to Poisson by yourself. They kind of read her. So, we arranged for a second group to lie in wait there. So, you mean, the ones who scoured the settlement for me were also from the Spina? Yeah, they kind of got you, babe. And their goal was to force you to step into the giant magic box so you may personally participate in the greatest magic performance in all of Fontanian history. Lenny, Lenny said, let me flex real quick. That's right. That house was a magic box rather than someone's residence. As the super ultimate version of the setup that I used when I first performed at the Opera Epicles, the volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude, and the I'm distance done. it traversed was the entire gap between Poisson and Arrhenius. Its cargo, of course, was an Archon instead of a human. He said, and I did that. My thanks, Farina. Without your help, we could never have pulled off such an extraordinary performance. He's so... cunty. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Of course, this performance was only made possible with father's support. The House <gasps> of the Hearth spent a massive fun, amount of the, labor the and more to pull this off. We had to select a location, construct a giant magic box, dig a tunnel, and open up a path through the water. It was a lot of work for all of us. Not the Fatui being in on it, and they worked with them. So, in other words, the earthquake that we felt within the giant magic box was just a normal tremor from the transportation of the whole house? That's right. It wasn't Tee. a sign of another disaster to come. Wow, the deception! Uh, I can guess Nervilette and Cloran's parts. You gathered a crowd, prepared <laughs> Charlotte a stage, like... and made sure that the champion duelist would be immediately ready for a fight. Also, that as soon as I appeared on the stage, the trial may commence without a hitch. Am I right? Yes, that is correct. Why does she want to know all this? Well, Clorand, I must commend you for your courage. Only the most outstanding champion duelist in all of Fontaine would accept a duel with an Archon without flinching. I would have done it too. Thank you. As for you, Traveler, I suppose your role was to keep me distracted with conversation once you found me in Poisson. 
you'd make sure that I didn't notice anything amiss before revealing yourself as my prosecutor once we'd arrived onto the stage. You guessed wrong. Oh? My mission was to give you one last chance. <gasps> so we low-key got deceived too? Like we didn't really know that they were doing this? Or did we know? We hope that you cheer your seek with us before the magic box arrived. Oh, so we did know it was happening. Okay, we did know it was happening. Okay. <laughs> Is that so? Then I suppose I must have missed my final chance. <laughs> Just a little bit. You took a little long. You were being a little too in character with those pauses. It's fine. It matters not. What's done is done. The stage is already set. So there's no reason to disappoint the audience. Let's see this trial through oh. to the very end. She's gonna rig the oratrice. She has a control over it. Madam Prosecutor, please allow me to pass this along. This is a document that Miss Charlotte applied for and received permission to share with you during the trial. According to her, it should speed up the proceedings. Oh, Charlotte has the tea. Uh -huh. Charlotte wanted to give us. Charlotte has the fucking tea. Oh, so she's here too. Hey, Charlotte. <laughs> she's like. Yeah. <laughs> Just literally like. Mm, oh, yeah. let Paimon see. Uh, We're isn't like... this the exclusive interview that she did with us before? <laughs> so she's already finished it, huh? <gasps> Wait, then that means this document is a perfect timeline of everything that's happened ever since we stepped foot in Fontaine. So in other words, we can refer to this anthology of evidence every time we want to use something from our journey as evidence for an argument. Oh my god, am I doing another one of these trial things? God damn it. Let's quickly confirm the information in it. Just think of it as a refresher, all right? Again? How many? the oh. Hydro Archon in the very first duels you took part in at the Opera House. That's one for the history books, all right? Oh my fucking god. I didn't think that you'd wind up getting to the bottom of the case I'd been following all this time. I guess you could. This is the first time Monsieur Nervilet had a difference of opinion with the oratrice of the Tui Harbinger. Guys, it's not that it's easy. Person. I just fucking hate Her when they do this. Like, I think it's. something. I, it's just so much exposition. The fortress of Meripede was almost. According to Mr. Well, Navia, tea time with Anne. As extraordinary as a witch can probably. Only okay, so these are just like the like big, the big plot points. The prosecution and the defense are both in position. The trial shall now begin. <laughs> oh, come on. But, like, what are we trying to prove? There's no need to repeat all the unimportant legalese. Like, what are we trying to prove? Like, negligence? Like, at this point? Just fast forward to the part where the prosecution lays out my offenses. As the defendant and the lead actress of this performance, I still haven't even been informed of my supposed guilt in all of this. Of course. It is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of a god. Of a god. <laughs> However, you will need more than that to She said it exactly how I thought she would say it. That's so funny. Like, the exact way. I knew it. That's true. But my charge here is unrelated to your conduct as an archon. Oh my god. Lumine, Lumine lines? Oh my god. What? Instead, I would like to charge you as a fraud. <gasps> never been the Archon in the first place. What's that mean? True. Wait, what was that? Lady Farina's a fraud? Hey, I came here thinking that we were going to try the Hydro Archon for forsaking her duty, but... The tea, the tea. Right? She's not our Archon at all? The audience gagged. Charge accepted. Oh! What's Farina's face? Lady Farina, do you plead guilty to the charge? Uh, <sighs> Lady Farina. I plead not guilty. How can I be guilty? There is no way that I, 
Bosalor, otherwise known Bosalor. as Brina Fontaine, a member of the Seven and the Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws of Fontaine, could be anything other than your true Archon. She said title on title on title. Yeah. Even though Lady Farina can be rather eccentric, isn't it going too far to doubt her very identity? Yeah, I've never questioned her identity either. Sure, Lady Farina can be super irresponsible, but, <laughs> but what grounds does that prosecutor have to make such a huge claim? Well, Matt, thanks so much for following. I have cause to believe that common sense will prevail in this case. Many of the members of the audience have known me as the Hydro Archon ever since they were born. There would be no fooling their memory. <laughs> See? <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided <laughs> to show me its favor. Are you sure you want to commit to a charge that will never be upheld? Or she's just kind of like, y'all a bit wild for that. Like, even the oratories is like, what the fuck are y'all smoking with this one? Jay, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> like, that is so funny. If you wish to drop the case, I can promise you as the god of justice that you will not have to face trial for making a false accusation. We will treat everything that's happened as a dramatic spectacle and move on with our lives. What our lives? <laughs> An argument with near impossible odds, huh? We have to not only refute Farina's claims, but also overturn the long-held beliefs of the people. The people only see the U.S. are Archon because well, of their long-held beliefs. I tried to give you the chance to surrender. If you must persist, then let me ask. If you believe I'm not the Archon, then what manner of being do you think I am? And if I was not the Archon, then how did I manage to live for over 500 years? Girl, I don't fucking know! Good anti-aging cream and a great diet? What do I fucking know about her? I have to figure out what the fuck she is right now? She revealed that she had already probed Farina on her own and believes it's possible that only Farina is not really Archon, but that she's actually afflicted with a curse? She So what, they're saying she's cursed? That's the storyline we're going with? First of all, you may be a member of another long-lived race which would allow you to naturally possess an extended lifespan. And second of all, even if that wasn't the case, there could be other ways to extend your life. <laughs> Who gave you that idea? Was it the knave? You'd sink so low as to use a harbinger's words against me. Curse of immortality? But when did that even, when, where, where did that even come up from? Who the fuck else has that curse? <gasps> Wait, hold on. Like Conria? Like, like, wait, like Dane? Like. Wait, are they trying to say that she's a fucking person from fucking Conria? No, f wait, what? A curse. I once thought it possible that the aura of an Archon might naturally resemble a type of curse. Guys, I think my brain is broken, huh? But in light of this claim, perhaps what I sensed was not your divinity, but a curse after all. You sensed it too, huh, Nervalette? Is that an Archon? You could just be a cursed human. Hey, Farina is actually a human? Well, it is true that it's extremely difficult to tell humans and gods apart just by looking at them. It's not impossible. Oh! 
gagged. Well, don't start celebrating too early now. Even if I have been carrying a curse like you said, how does that prove that I am merely a human being? Someone cut her. <laughs> if she bleeds, she's human. Besides, everyone knows that the main difference between a human and a god is the possession of authority. Gods can do what humans cannot. That's why they're worshipped as gods. And what the fuck can you do that no one else For can? For centuries, manifestations of my authority have served the nation of Fontaine. One need only to turn their eyes towards the Oratrice Mechanique d'Annelise Cardinal in this very <laughs> opera house. Oratrice Mechanique Annelise Cardinal, the way she sped that. In every aspect of life. That one trial proved the opposite that Freena has no control. <laughs> yeah, the, ch the child one, the child conviction. Like, girl, what? You tried to reference the Oratrice, but weren't you as confused as all the rest of us when the Oratrice declared child to be guilty without any proof? Otherwise, you should have come up with a good explanation for that by now. Broken ass scale. Didn't I make myself clear at the time? The decisions of the gods are naturally difficult for humans to comprehend. <laughs> there is no need to provide an explanation. Lady Farina, I believe a reminder of your current circumstances is in order. While the court is in session, the principles of justice and the law must come before all else. While you are an Archon, you are also first and foremost the defendant in this trial. He said, well, you better make it make sense now. You will prove yourself unable to defend against the prosecution's charges if you continue to withhold vital information against the rules of the court. I never thought you'd use that kind of rhetoric against me. Girl. That was no trick of rhetoric, Lady Farina. I've merely reiterated the rules of the court. Rules that all should respect and follow. T. <laughs> so, you neither why child was declared guilty, nor did you understand the structure and operations of the Oratrice. Instead of having been created by you, the manifestations of authority you mentioned have been made by the real Hydro Archon, haven't they? Oh? The real Hydro Archon? Well, now you're really losing me. It is true that I did not know why the Oratrice gave out a guilty verdict that day. But the Oratrice handed out that verdict unilaterally. And it has been operating independently ever since it was first created. You can't... You can't argue that just because a divine creation is flawed, that the god behind it must also be no god at all. <sighs> She's still throwing out all kinds of excuses. Yeah, that was a weak like argument. She's confident that we won't be able to produce proof that she has no power over the Oratrice. Sure, we can put the Oratrice aside for now, but then, Miss Freena, could you give us a brief demonstration of your powers as an Archon? My power Trill. as an Archon. Do something! There are many ordinary citizens in the audience. How can I just carelessly demonstrate the formidable power of an Archon? Do something! If that poses a concern, I'm prepared to extend my protection to the audience. Water gun me right now! Um, you don't need to go that far. Surely an Archon can at least match the capabilities of a human with a I, vision? Uh, <gasps> Gagged her! Is she the Hydro Archon? Or is it that you can't even wield the power of Hydro, much <gasps> less the authority of a god? I literally said she couldn't even water the grass, bro. Like, please. Indemnidium. Yes, it's all because of indemnidium. All Archons derive their power from the faith of the people. And I've converted the people's faith in justice into indemnidium. That was a good counter, though. I'll give her that. That was a good counter. I'll give her that. That was a good excuse. Thus did I give up all of my divine power to provide everyone with energy for their daily lives. Have you ever seen a more magnanimous god? <laughs> Isn't that a huge stretch? I would have believed it. <laughs> yeah. No matter how generous an Archon can be, how could they give up all their power? Can a god with no power even still be called a god? Audience member number 36 kind of got a point, though. And thank you for the follow. Kind of got a point. Kind of ate with that line. Kind of ate with... Never mind. Farina, 
<laughs> Go fucking water the grass. What are you talking about? Oh! It seems like nobody's buying Farina's excuse. Hey, come now, everyone. Please don't stare at me as if I was a liar. <laughs> She's like, I cannot handle the eyes. I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? The one that's the you bargaining. Loved. <laughs> the bargaining. Shouldn't you want to believe in me? Please? You've got to believe me. Oh no, I'm so conflicted. I want her to get wrecked, but I also feel bad. If what the prosecutor said is true, she really has committed a grave offense. Did she deceive all of us? And all of our parents and grandparents too? And then all of our ancestors? Ever since they were born? Enough. That's enough. Tell me then. If I'm not the real Hydro Archon, then who is? If you have no evidence of another Hydro Archon's existence, nor can you find anyone who can back up their claim to be such, then what grounds have you to say that I'm not actually the real deal? I mean, true. Wow. She came up with yet another argument. Uh, how can we refute her now? Seems like she really doesn't want to give up. If we can't prove she isn't the Archon, we can try to prove that she's just human. And if she's only human... <laughs> prove that she's human? <gasps> we try to dissolve her? That's fucked. That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. It has been established that all Fontanians can dissolve in water from the No. And that means... Since you insist on claiming to be a god and not a human, then there's a method that you can use right here and now to eliminate all suspicions of you being the latter. Miss Navia. Please apply to serve as a temporary attorney for the prosecution before addressing the court. <laughs> Though you act in partnership with the prosecutor, you must still adhere to proper procedure. He said, all right, not too much down there in the crowd. I'm gonna need you to calm the fuck down, Blondie. Uh, super sorry, Mr. Chief Justice. He I said, swear this Shut up, really Taylor. will be the last time that I'll speak out of turn. Miss, Miss Swift? I'ma need you to silence yourself. Now, I've brought some seawater from Poisson. As everyone knows, a massive flood struck the area not long ago, taking many lives, including those of some of my closest friends. So, Miss Farina, would you dare to touch some of the seawater? Now hold on, this might be where we get gagged. She might be immune to it somehow. I believe that you are indeed the real Hydro Archon. Touching the seawater would have no effect on you. All it should do is strengthen your case. But if you don't dare to touch it, then we would have basically proved the reverse. Oh, and I must remind you that after the disaster at Poisson, nobody wants to see any more people dissolve. I do hope you'll act prudently and choose the simpler path of admitting guilt. Navia from the Spina di Rasula. The Spina has governed Poisson for many years. They're I basically saying that, like, if Farina isn't human, she was, she's not Fontanian born, you know, she's not like a regular human, that she can touch primordial water and not be affected by it. But if she's just a random ass girl from Fontaine that's taken up the role as Hydro Archon, she would dissolve. If Lady Farina is indeed just a human, she's probably Fontanian like all the rest of us. Would she really dare to try? I feel like she's gonna do it. Oh! See, I knew it. Maybe she doesn't even know. I don't think she knows. Lady Farina, this test has been unilaterally proposed by the prosecution. As it falls outside the realm of standard court proceedings, you possess the right to decline participation. <sighs> Oh, shit. I don't know if she knows. Well, of course he had to tell her that. But refusing to participate is basically the same as a confession of guilt. 
She's just staring at the water without saying a single word. It really does seem like she's quite terrified of it. That could only mean... Wait, 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 wait. How about if she actually doesn't know? Like, how about if she... How about if she doesn't know? Like, how about if she doesn't know? Like, how about if she... She's also unsure if she's the Archon. Like, how about if she's not trying to deceive anyone? Like, how about if she's just as confused as everyone else? No! I don't want her to do it! She's being pressured! This isn't fair! What's going on? Is she really planning to... Uh, that's not what we thought she would... <sighs> Girl. Due to the inherent risk of the test, Lady Farina, you may. <clears throat> oh my God! What? Hey! <sighs> Gagged! Gagged! I, I'm fine. Look! Look at me, everyone! My hand is still here. I haven't been dissolved. Period. Clap for Farina. Yes, bitch! You show them! You show them! Will you believe me now? I really am your Archon! Oh, she's I'm pissed! nothing like a normal human who would fall apart <laughs> as soon as they touch this water! Really, was this not the most obvious thing in the world? Miss Siegwing, if you're present, Miss Siegwing, please come forward and attend to the defendant. Siegwing? Wait, what? Not the Melazine! Don't be nervous. It'll just take a few seconds. Don't trust her. Don't trust her. Let Don't trust see. her. Farina, she'll she'll take you out with her gun. Don't trust her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that should be enough. Please announce the results of your evaluation to the court, Miss Seedween. Wait, what? As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hyperventilation and flushed skin. These indicate that she was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. The extent to which she was affected is the same as other humans when exposed to primordial seawater of a similar concentration. Thank you, Miss Siegwing. Lady Farina, you may return to the defendant's stand. Wait, I don't know if I believe... Now I don't know if I believe them. I don't know if I believe them. I feel... How about if they're just pushing Farina to the brink? They're... I feel like they're lying. They're just doing this to push her to the brink where she feels like she has to say the truth. Oh, wait, what did she just say? I didn't get dissolved. Shouldn't that be enough to prove my innocence? For real. Well, considering your tendency to run from your problems, we did originally prepare a direct sample of the seawater around Poisson. Nouvellet would not lie in court? Bullshit! However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated enough to dissolve an actual human. After all, on the off chance that something entirely unexpected might occur, we don't want anyone else to lose their life to the sea. Okay, that kind of made sense, but like, I'm still mad about it. Yeah, so out of regard for Farina's life, you secured a low concentration sample and asked the head nurse to serve as an expert witness. I'm gonna be honest, but this trial is very much rigged against Farina. Like, she's really getting set up here a lot. And I, can someone call her? Can someone call her a lawyer? She needs to plead the fifth at this point. It's a great thing that the direct sample wasn't actually used. Farina could have. I, I can't believe you. Farina can't have not known the consequences of touching that water as a human. Yeah, so Farina doesn't know! Farina thinks she's the Archon. So wait, my, my, my previous thought was right. She does believe truly she is.
Or, or she, we, I don't know. I'm so confused. Listen oh my God. Listen to me, everyone. Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks. What happened just now didn't prove a single thing. Think about it. How can you conclusively prove that an Archon can't also be affected by the primordial seawater? <laughs> I swear to God, if Venti, Nahida, A, or Zhongli walk in right now, I will be gagged. Imagine Raiden just strutting in, putting her hand in the fucking water, and like being fine. <laughs> I would be on the floor. I would be on the floor. I would be convulsing. And then Raiden's just like, anyways, I'm gonna go back to Inazuma. Chad, should I do that? Should I do that for my my new TikTok? Recreate this, but with that scene? <laughs> with the Raiden wig? <laughs> Just gag her. That would be so funny. Well, guess we know what part two is gonna be. Also, also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand in that kind of water? <laughs> the shaking, no! The shaking of the head! Everyone, anyone, just listen to me! I swear, I really am your Archon! Damn. She's already lonely enough. <sighs> I don't think anything she says at this point will sway anyone. The odds are just too stacked against her now. With all the things that have been said, Paimon doesn't think there's any way left for Farina to win. I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. If there are no objections, we will move on to the final judgment. Are they really going to let the Oratrice decide? I feel like the Oratrice is so unreliable, though. I don't think anything she says at this point will sway her to this too stacked against her now. What's going on? What's happening? In my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. As a human who knowingly <sighs> deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... <gasps> Not everyone turning their backs guilty. on her! Oh, no. We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. Not this fucking star rail looking ass. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Farina is. Hmm? What's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? No! Did the Oratrice fuck them over again? No. The Oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. Isn't that correct then? However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus The Hydro Archon, guilty to be punished via <gasps> the death sentence. Uh, the. The death sentence? Oh, it's actually one of the available sentences? I've always thought that it was just a myth. The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court, and it's been given to the very person we've worshipped as the god of justice? Bro. An unexpected twist. Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? We just wanted to use the trial to show her the seriousness of things so she'd tell us the truth. How did things escalate this quickly? I feel like, oh my god, I feel like they're trying to like show that like justice, like, like this is like all like a thing about justice. Like, 
Like with Child's like verdict being wrong and now Farina's being like way too severe, like showing that like you can't just like rely on this like machine. This outcome is indeed quite strange. According to Fontaine's current definitions of justice, as well as its recommendations for criminal sentences, is this sentence really appropriate for the crimes that have been committed? Oh, she's going through it. Even Mache wasn't sentenced to death by the Oratrice. Yeah, Even for also, real. I mean, to be fair, he did die, though, anyways. Maybe the Orochis already knew that that was going to happen. <laughs> What's more strange is instead of Farina, the Orochis rendered the judgment on the Hydro Archon. <gasps> Wait, you're right! It did say the Indeed. Hydro Archon! Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive, the very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has never been the Hydro Archon in the first place. But now... The Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title of the Hydro Archon. What the fuck is going what on? What does this mean? Who is in who is in the Oh my god, this goes like, <laughs> this goes back to my theories, my older theories that I didn't think were real, where it's Celestia! Where it's like the evil side of Farina is Celestia's control or something. Fuck off, guys. Stop telling me to play it. I need to process my brain. I need to process my brain! I'm going crazy! Um, excuse me. What the fuck interrupt. is this fuck ass doing? Is the trial still going? Oh my god, this Mika coated looking ass. Fremine, what the fuck do you need now? Fremine. Oh, you finally made it. I assume this means you've completed your mission? What mission? Mm -hmm. Any mission father assigns to me will always be top priority. What did- Oh no. <gasps> Is that the first prophecy slate? I love him! I love that bitch! Never mind! I love that bitch! From a day! Oh, I'm so sorry! Oh my god, where did they find it? Wait, who is that in the middle? Wait, it's the Oceanids. It's the Oceanids? Is that supposed to be, is that Nouvellet? Huh, so the Nave privately arranged for Fremenade to try and find the missing slate. I looked everywhere and finally found it at the bottom of the sea. It took me a long time to get around some dangerous stretches of water, but... Has the trial already concluded? Then... Doesn't that mean I've come too late? Oh my god. Oh no. Father will be disappointed in me. Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Fremenet. Please allow me to review the record left on the slate. Oh, Nuvolet has a scan thing. Wait, is that a Giria? Wait, is that a Giria creating Nuvolet? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Traveler. I believe that you have already seen the other existing slates. And we'd like you to come here and confirm their contents. Because Agiria, because because Nuvolet and Agiria never met. So what do you see? What is it? The previous Hydro Archon releasing her divine power, turning the Oceanids into human beings. Wait. What? I believe I have now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to do with Fontaine's lost history. No, so wait, we were right. It's the original sin. The sin. Wait, so wait, what is the sin? Huh? Isn't the Hydro Archon just guilty of deceiving her people? Oh, wait, no, that's Farina, and we've already proven that she's not the Hydro Archon. Uh, so when you say Hydro Archon, do you We're mean talking the Agiria. real Hydro Archon we've been kind of talking about? In truth, everything that you've encountered in Fontaine up until this point can be traced back to the contents of these stone slates. However, I'm uncertain as to how much sense they currently make to you. Make it make sense, Nubilet! Okay, let's try to recall the contents of the other three stone slates. Select to check the descriptions and extract information. 
You can find scenarios related to the stone slates. As the verification, can the waters rise? Um, I don't know if we should be doing this, y'all. The first stone slate describes what you just said. It seems to show the previous Hydra Archon using her divine power, and then the Oceanids turn into humans. Okay. Does that mean that Fontanians are transformed Oceanids? Oh, Paima wasn't expecting that. But if Oceanids can turn into humans, then perhaps this process can be reversed as well. Wait, there were a few theory people that literally thought this, that thought that everyone in... Wait, so does that mean that everyone that's in Fontaine comes from the Oceanids? And it's like, it's kind of like... It's like it's like the pro like common prophecy of things being reversed. Like everything will come back the to where it originally. The second slate shows Celestia floating in the sky, and the Hydra Archon and her people worshiping it together. But the heavens still brought judgment down upon them. How the fuck does she end up as a pawn? This must be the point when the Hydra Archon and the Fontanians were branded with their original sin. Does this mean that the original sin and the Hydra Archon sin are the same thing? The third slate shows the Hydra Archon sinking into the sea surrounded by many people. Oh. That reminds Paimon, didn't we also watch that happen to someone else? Fremene? In the trailer? Well, the fourth slate is the prophecy the Fontanians have been talking about. People dissolving into the sea, the Hydra Archon crying on her throne, and so on. We didn't believe that such a crazy disaster could happen at first, did we? But after that incident, it was just a question of when and not if. Verify the truth. It seems to show the former Archon using divine power to turn Oceanids into people. Okay, but why is the process of turning Oceanids into people a sin? The entrance of our sea is sealed beneath the forbidden zone. While exploring the ruin near the Poisson, it began collapsing. Navia fell into the water containing primordial seawater. Is it the first one? What am I trying to verify? Turning oceans into people? We know from the case of the serial disappearances of young women that Fontanians can be dissolved in primordial seawater. And, and then they the become oceanids. The slate tells us that long ago, the Hydro Archon used her power to turn oceanids into humans. This might be the reason that Fontanians can dissolve. It's like, it's like, it's like a, it's like a formula. It goes both ways. Ocean, humans become oceanids, oceanids become humans. Shows Fontaine floating in the sky and the Hydra Archon of people worshiping it together, but the heavens still brought justice upon them. Oh my god, there's so many. Wait, there's even N? Mm, what am I trying to prove? That, like... Like what? That they were like that they were judged as guilty? That doesn't sound I don't understand what I'm trying to fucking even prove. Oh Perhaps what is about to take place has all happened before. The true sin of the Hydra Archon that Nervilet mentioned, and the original sin cast down on the people of Fontaine by Celestia, as recorded on the stone slates. It's like it's a it's a like it's a it's a pattern. Like once sentenced to death will always be sentenced to death. 
like the Hydro Archon, the verdict that it got just now is not really the verdict of what happened right now. It's the verdict of the previous Hydro Archon. Shows a Hydro Archon sinking into the sea surrounded by many people. Is it this one? It's not as simple as falling into the sea. When Navia fell into the sea, her consciousness was subjected to judgment. The stone slates show the people gathered around the Hydro Archon in the sea. Could that be alluding to the same thing? This one they're really ambiguous with. But they're not really... I feel like they're being really ambiguous with this and I don't know why. Like, is this, like, alluring to the fact of, like, judgment after death and stuff like that? Like, I don't understand this part. It shows the scene that is basically identical to that described in the prophecy. Circulating throughout Fontaine. Fontaine will eventually be dissolved in the sea and the Hydro Archon will sit alone. I don't understand. Is this one the N? I don't feel like this one's Anne. The prophecy from the stone slates found its way into society, but not many people believed it at first. The fortress of- If we hadn't dealt with it in time, things could have Wait. gone very badly. Okay, hey, that last one- The dissolve into the primordial sea but won't cease to exist, their essence will flow in the seawater. Converge and take the form of an Oceanid. So they return back to their original form. The Hydro Archon was sentenced to death in court, shocking everyone present. Hmm. Perhaps this means that her sin was actually Fontaine's original sin. Navia fell into the water inside those ruins, and she nearly dissolved. She was surrounded by the people of Poisson in a court within her consciousness and was forced to take part in a trial meant to make her stay. The eruption of the primordial sea at the fortress of Meripede was the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass no matter what. The prophecy's contents can all be verified by recent events. If we combine what we know together, loads of truths should come to light. Okay. But but we're missing the why. We're missing the ocean and why. Huh? Oh, Paimon gets it now. So that's how you can make sense of it. But then it feels like we're going to have to share some truly shocking revelations. Let's hear them. Fontanians are not real humans. Incredible. Linny, did you hear that? So that includes Linny, Lynette, like everyone with 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 visions? We're not real humans. I don't understand this because if they're okay, if they're sinful against the heavenly principles, like the people of Fontaine, they're almost they're like literally like walking blasphemy. How the fuck do they have visions then? Like, because visions are given from Celestia, and why would Celestia give visions to those that they see as blasphemous? All Fontanians were originally created by the late previous Hydro Archon, with Oceanids as their basis. The evidence for that can be found in how only Fontanians could dissolve in primordial seawater, and how all the girls Vache dissolved were also turned into Oceanids. Oh, and according to Navia, when she was about to get dissolved, she also saw everyone gathered around for a trial, all of them in the shape of Oceanids. Okay. Indeed. The crimes of the Hydro Archon were her creation of Fontanians from Oceanids. Yeah. From the content of the first slate, that she probably angered Celestia by creating humans without prior permission. Okay, so basically, in Celestia's eyes, the creation of humans without their strict, I guess, 
supervision is 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 a, a law that's a new thing we didn't really really know that as a sin that could also explain why the oratrix judged the hydro archon to be guilty it's to account for that ancient sin the hydro archon's true sin was creating us and yet after many hundreds of years the Hydro Archon's creations have turned around to try to judge the Archon within the Opera Epicles. <sighs> the hmm. twists of history are often the most unexpected of all. I'm so convinced that it should come after the fourth yeah. slave. Isn't the image here just like when Navia fell into the sea? So wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also falling into the sea once the prophecy has been fulfilled in the fourth slate? The fourth slate depicts the fulfillment of the prophecy, and it's in already the widely end, known. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. This is really interesting. Then we go like taking this and going back to the Dane quest of the rock and being referred to as sinners as well. If I'm You've made some keen deductions. I must say, given how much you still don't know, it is impressive that you've already managed to connect so many pieces of the truth. Wait, why is Nuvolet saying, I must say, given how much you still don't know? Like, Nuvolet knows... So did Nuvolet know this all the time? However, while you were able to decode all the information on the slates, they've also been etched with an additional layer of hidden information using a different power source. When we were at the ruins, I tried to decipher the hidden information recorded in the slates. But since we only had three slates at the time, I was unable to come to a full conclusion. Okay. Now that the slate collection is complete, I shall make another attempt to decipher the narrative recorded within. What's the hidden Everything information? Well, we should finally be informed of the unadulterated what truth. What more is there to know? I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the people of Fontaine as well. I will try to briefly summarize it for you. Oh, great. Your hypotheses regarding the origin of Fontanians and the sin of the Hydro Archon were both correct. In the Fontaine of old, the previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. What? Okay. So the Oceanids and the Hydro Archon just like lived underwater, like like they were just like all underwater beings. The Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings, and wishing to have those experiences for themselves, expressed to the Hydro Archon their desire to become of a similar kind. Okay. However, even though water as an element is intricately linked with the power of life. The Hydro Archon, as one of the seven, did not possess the authority to create a new form of human life. Not one to give in, she eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies for her familiars by appropriating the power of this planet's primordial sea. Interesting. She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanid's blood vessels, creating humanoid mimics in the process. But if Fontanians were to ever come into direct contact with water from the Primordial Sea, the power within their bodies would escape these artificial restraints and return to the sea. As a result, their forms would collapse, and they would be reverted to their original forms as Oceanids. Okay. Of course, the Hydro Archon never received permission from the Heavenly Principles to create a new human race. And thus, the Hydro Archon and all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin of appropriating the power of the Primordial Sea. That is the true history of how the people of Fontaine first came into being. So you... I... we were all Oceanids before we turned into human beings? That's way too much information for me. I think I'm just going to pretend that I never heard a single thing. Yeah, this is a lot. This is like this is like when you tell people that God isn't real, basically. Like this is gonna like make people in Fontaine to Lulu. 
Wait, but if that's the truth, we can't let the Hydro Archon be sentenced to death. After all, her only sin was creating us. This really might be too much information for your regular Fontanian, but it does answer a lot of our questions. Alas, your hypothesis regarding the third and fourth stone slates was inaccurate. The slates' respective positions are, in fact, correct. Oh, th so, yeah, I, I assume they were. A key point of the visual on the third slate is how all the individuals depicted in the water are humans rather than oceanids. They have not been dissolved, which implies that the water depicted in this slate is not water from the primordial sea. The nation of Fontaine is the nation of Hydro, as well as the nation of Trials and Justice. Instead of being the literal element, the water in the scene symbolizes judgment and justice. So... You may also recall Navia's experience. When she fell into the sea, her consciousness was surrounded by that of many others who intended to hold a trial to determine her fate. Therefore, the meaning of the third slate is that the people of Fontaine shall try the Hydro Archon at the Court of Justice. So what we just did right now. So we're just falling further and further into the prophecy. Meaning it's truly inescapable and that we've further fucked up. Yes, it refers to our present situation. And it just proves that N literally talking to us earlier said we've already fucking failed it's literally what n said and was like you guys already fucked up like they already knew i think i'm following now so what you're saying is even though we decided to put on this trial to avoid fulfilling the prophecy it was the prophecy in truth, everything we've done has happened exactly as the prophecy foretold so now it seems we're the ones making Yo, it's sure Jover. It comes true. It's Jover, y'all. What should we do? Huh. No matter what, the prophecy will be fulfilled. Is this what it feels like to be a prisoner of fate? Nope. Because we're the fucking descenders and we we you have to do something crazy. If that's the case, does that mean the scene in the fourth slate will also be fulfilled soon? Girl, she's already Traveler, crying. I would like to point out another small fallacy in your deductions. About the fourth slate, you probably thought that the eruption of primordial seawater beneath the fortress of Meripede served as the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass, yes? However, I believe that rather than being a sure sign, that eruption could in fact only be a small warning of something far worse to come. As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe you've already encountered it once before. The fucking whale? This is the fucking whale. This eruption was just a small warning of the things to come. We must find the root cause of the disaster. The prophesized disaster will likely spread from here. The whale? It's gotta be the whale. It was both dream and reality. That if fucking we whale! If a true culprit, that could only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? But what is the whale? Oh my god, there's still so many questions. The truth, the original sin, the trial, and the root cause of the disaster. Um, what was that? <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, girl, you can't run from this. Oh, my God. In the opera to Epic Class. <laughs> that did not look like it did much. Child! 
I'll pop off, pop off, pop off. It's that foul legacy, this deck, bitch. Oh my god. Oh, he does not look okay. <gasps> What's going on? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, the black and white banner is on its way. The black and white banner is literally on its fucking way. So we've met it at last. I understand very well why it has chosen to make an appearance here. That whale does not belong to Tevat. It is a monster that has traversed the stars, weeping all the while. It's from out of this world, too? It has been greedily consuming the energy from the planet's primordial sea, using it to grow. That is the main cause for the rising sea levels. Oh my god, I can't, I can't. I'm gonna shut this game off. I'm gonna shut this fucking game off. I swear to fucking god, I can't do this. Oh, the theories right now. This is too much. I'm gonna literally shut the fucking game off. It's taken us literally four to five years. And here we are, like, literally entering, literally entering our fucking Star Rail era. Oh my god, I can't deal with this. This is too much. The game is, the, the lore is already so much and so confusing. And once it has finished consuming all of the energy contained within the sea, its next step will be. You said that when the Hydro Archon first created Fontanians out of Oceanids, she filled their blood vessels with primordial seawater. Precisely. That whale finds the blood of Fontanians nigh impossible to resist. Therefore, when it left the Primordial Sea, it decided to make its next stop a packed opera house full of food. Food in the form of Fontanians. Uh, we just barely managed to push it back, right? In that case, won't it come oh back to target God. the people again once it's managed to recover its strength? That is correct. Indeed, it is more accurate to say that we should thank that Harbinger for buying us some time. Without him... The whale would have likely come onto land far sooner. Yo, he's so dead. He's actually he looked, so dead. The death flags are crazy. Must have been creature for quite a long time. That battle maniac. We've always known that he had a special connection with that whale, but we definitely didn't expect it to help us out like this. Anyway, now that we know that this whale is the actual cause of the disaster recorded in the prophecy, all we need to do to stop the prophecy would be to find a way to beat it up, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, just beat a, beat a whale that Child's been fighting for literally, like, basically, like, two fucking years. Yeah, no biggie. Yeah, of course. It is too late. Wait, what? It had already absorbed too much of the Primordial Sea's energy before we could notice it. At this point, it has become practically integrated with the sea itself. Oh, it's giving Sea of Quantum. Even Sorry. if the entirety of Tabat were to be destroyed, it could still survive and swim off towards some other world. That's not something I will accept. We've already done everything we can, and we even found the true culprit. Literally start up the Jade Chamber, babes. We've come so far. You can't just tell me that the last hurdle is some impossible foe. This is that's crazy. That's not fair. This is not fucking sane, child. Indeed. That's not how a grand performance should end. I'll fight it to the end, no matter what. Oh my god, please give me a chlorine fight so scene. So the prophecy will be fulfilled no matter what, huh? Unless we change fate. Unless we change fate. What's going on now? The prophecy. Yes. <gasps> what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I knew Anne would say it! You may view such things as the history of the future. We couldn't fight against fate. Mother. But if this is all about fate... Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods, 
Could things be happening in hidden corners where the god's gaze does not fall? Like the abyss? Is the, the wait, like the abyss? Like does the abyss count as one of these hidden corners? Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tavat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. Not as becoming the abyss princess. Did I miss something? Yeah, we always miss something. Wait, I forgot about Farina. What was it that she wanted to say to me in that last moment in the box? For real! Yo, someone pick her up from that damn chair. What the fuck is happening now? What's happening with the oratrice? I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. What do you mean? Farina! No, I still need answers. Oh my god. Is that another fit? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You. <laughs> Literally, uh, Farina, what? Sorry. That shocked expression on your face is just too amusing. I couldn't help myself. Is this a Giria or is this- You are not Farina. Who are you? Ah, the sweet sound of bewilderment. Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding success. But to answer your question, I am Fosalor. You know. The god. Oh my fuck. Fosolo, why did you deceive us? Oh, that wasn't my goal, of course. Goodness, no. But I had to fool everyone else, too, if I was to stand any chance of deceiving. No fucking way. She's about to say, like, the heavenly principles. There's no way. The heavenly principles. <gasps> oh, I'm so gagged right now. Oh, I'm so gagged. Oh, I'm so fucking gagged. I can't. I can't keep playing this game. Holy shit. Deceiving the heavenly principles. She said, fuck them. I'm done. As she fucking should. She's on that Shaznaya fucking... Oh my god, this game is gonna get so crazy after this. It's all because of that pernicious prophecy. Dreadful, wasn't it? Everyone doomed to dissolve. Fontaine condemned to be flooded. She said, fuck this, I'm not dealing. She literally said, fuck you. I'm done dealing with these stupid rules. Oh, I love her. Oh, I kind of love her. One was not amused. In fact, one was positively bemused when that problem was thrust upon me by my dearest predecessor. That's the former Hydro Archon Egeria for the <laughs> initiated. It hardly gets more disastrous than a preordained national catastrophe. So she's Mentors like that that fucking Egeria ass bitch put me in this position and I'm just like, you know what? Well, guess we're fucking dealing. She knew full well that the prophecy would surely come to pass. Damn, I'm kind of an Egeria hater at my core a little bit. Like, I'm not mad at her for what she did, but she really fucked it up for the rest of us, eh? And as one of the seven, she also knew full well that one defies the heavenly principles at one's peril. 
So yes, as you have no doubt surmised, it was a rather impossible situation that I found myself in. Oh my god, wait, so we were right! She was in the orange race, the Liddy thing! We were right! Oh, this is eating. I spent a terribly long time mulling it over, alone on the ocean floor. And I was almost growing barnacles by the time I finally realized there was only one possible solution to this confounding conundrum. I had to outwit the heavenly principles, Tea. allow the prophecy to be fulfilled, ostensibly at least, while saving everyone at the same time. Okay, why did Fosalor literally eat every Archon? Like, damn. Nihita, take a fucking seat. This is how it's done. This is how it's done. Like, this is how you play God, girl. <laughs> I'm a genius, I know. I can only assume that's why Egeria chose me as her successor. Interesting. Although, looking back now, it was hardly the inheritance one dreams of. Between the task of saving the nation, the quotidian duties of the Hydro Archon, and not to mention the original sin of creating a new race of humans. A whole mess. I dare say she left me quite a colossal mess to clean up. Oh my god, this makes me feel like, I'm sorry, but like, Farina's story quest part two is gonna eat. I have a feeling, if we, if we even get it. But Farina's story quest part two is gonna fucking eat. <sighs> But one can only play the hand one is dealt. I did not choose this any more than I chose to be one of her Oceanid familiars. Oh. Lore, it's giving Miko turn Archon? So you were also once one of the Oceanids, transformed into a human by Egeria's hand. Yes, I was. I always dreamed of becoming human, and I still do, even now. In my eyes, to be human is to be part of the greatest opera ever known. After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit, leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self on her first day as a human being. So it is her, technically. Stop! I need to give Frina like a hug. The me you see before you now is that divinity. And the human counterpart I left behind, I named Farina. She could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable as she wished. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess, as were her shortcomings. But in my eyes, Farina's humanity was literally justice for Farina. She was perfectly human in every way. The person I always wanted to be. Wow. Anyway, so then I cursed her. <laughs> <laughs> at least she's not Conrian because that would have thrown me for a whole loop <laughs> that, if she ended up somehow being linked to Conrian I would have fucking lost my mind <laughs> all part of the plan of course the plan to deceive the heavenly principles <sighs> do you still remember the final scene of the prophecy the Hydra Archon, alone, weeping on her throne. In order that the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress, to play the part of the Hydra Archon in the prophecy. Under the curse I placed on her, so long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist, she could not die. But nor was she free to live her life in the pursuit of happiness. Oh, no. Instead, she was forced to take the stage in the opera house, to embrace the role of leading lady, 
do forever play the Holy part shit, of the we were right. from the prophecy. All to create a deceitful appearance of that prophecy coming to pass. Guys, we literally predicted it. The first time we've done it correctly. We predicted it. The 500 years and her playing the role the entire time. Oh my God. This has never happened to me. <laughs> I've never been right like this. That's insane. <laughs> Someone please go back, clip that whole part of the stream. Like I need that as proof that I for once have gotten it right. There are definitely, there's a few parts. There's definitely a few parts that were like, I did not clue into. Like there's definitely minor details, but this overall theme right on the fucking nose. Oh my God. Guys, I've been to Lulu for so long. I've truly been to Lulu for so long. <laughs> I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the Opera Epicles. I don't. But Farina is only human, isn't she? Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than that of any other ordinary human being. She's suffering. I cannot begin to fathom what she has had to endure. It must have been torture for her. Oh, Nouvelle feels bad too. It has indeed. And although she is, in a sense, me in human form, I most definitely owe her an apology for it. It's been 500 years. Oh, Farina's about to get a shock of her fucking life. And all along, she's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, unbearably lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. Did she even know? Wait, where did she go? Farina's inner world. No! Oh no, this can make me cry. Maybe it'll be easier to get to her what I wanted to know. I came here for answers. Either way, this opportunity is not to be missed. What the fuck is going on? Is she actually going to die? Oh, I'm going to be so upset. Why is this giving Farina doesn't make it to the end? From one to Lulu girly to the next. You never deserve this, babe. Neither of us did. Oh, who permitted you to come onto the stage? Now, I understand your admiration for my august self, but I must ask you to keep to the rules. All right, all right. It is not my intent to reprimand Don't you. Don't look at me. There is no need to state your name. Just be off with you. Do not distract me from my performance. Why, why did it say, don't look at me, don't look at me? <laughs> oh, do not jest. Just let the Can stage lights go it? off, please, if only for one second. Is this her inner thoughts? I am Fosalor. The eyes of countless Fontanians are upon me. I must, at all times, display the utmost elegance and nobility. So she, all she wants to do is like disappear, like away from the spotlight. Even her inner self and subconscious would have such impenetrable defenses.
This is such oh, yes. like. Oh! The performance is experiencing a technical difficulty. Okay. But worry not. The guards shall resolve it soon. Girl, sit the fuck down. So basically, okay, we're fighting her inner game. demons. The audience Love is that. still watching me, you know. Guards? Wait, there are the guards. Trying to get to the real Farina. Wow, this is actually a really cool concept, I would just like to say. Very artsy of Mahoyo. A ticket? When did that end up here? What the hell's the ticket for? No, this is so theater. This is so theater kid coded. It's crazy. Oh? Oh, this is crazy. Hoyo's kind of eating with this quest, I can't lie. Farina. Farina. Huh? Uh, who's that? Uh, who's calling me? Where are you? Be not nervous. Be not afraid. I am before you. Wait a moment. You're near me? How can this be? Hmm. <laughs> near you, huh? You know what? That's not bad. Let's go with that. Me and me? No, mirror me, not me and me, chat. <laughs> Mirror me. What do you wish to say? The prophecy. Have you heard of it? What prophecy? Oh, wait. I know. I think. I don't know why, but it's in my head somehow. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. This isn't gonna be good. Guys, this isn't gonna be good. How does this end without fucking the Heavenly Principles being pissed as fuck that this doesn't go to their plan? Oh, <laughs> very good. You know it well. What's going on? I can't seem to remember anything clearly the only thing i know for sure is this prophecy will it really come to pass <laughs> yes it will and that is why i've come to you disaster will come to fontaine sooner or later things will develop just as the prophecy declares is this like is this like at the there beginning is no escaping it is, is, is this recreating the beginning, the very beginning? But doesn't that mean everyone will die? I'm a Fontanian just like them. Will I dissolve too? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Magical meetings exist in this world precisely to give people a chance to turn things around. It is the reason why you met me today. I will tell you how to save everyone. But you may have to suffer somewhat. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, so there's still hope after all. Goodness, you frightened me. You spoke so much and with so much certainty. As for the suffering, well, I will admit that the first thing that came to mind was... <laughs> Why me? I have to be the one to suffer. She's a Leo. She's a Leo if I've ever seen it. But... If the prophecy will come true, I'll also die anyway, right? 
So, if I've already met you as my magical meeting in this world, if there were scales with all the people of Fontaine on one side and my pain on the other, is it not obvious where the scales should tilt? <laughs> you truly are the perfect human, my ideal. I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. Uh huh? Don't worry, it's nothing. Listen well. This is so interesting. Fontaine has just lost its Hydro Archon. Damn, this I is like right at the beginning. Play a role, that of the new Archon. Play as a god. Yeah, she's a Libra. As am I. That's right. We have a very close you birthday. You must begin a never-ending masquerade. <gasps> masquerade you of the guilty. Oh! Let anyone suspect your identity. If you can keep it up, then I shall have my way of defying this prophecy. But should your identity be revealed, then all hope will be lost. That's why she fought so hard but to very end. How will I do this? A human assuming the role of a god without being exposed. Oh my god, and this explains the trailer. Her demo is actually kind of real, probably, of her pretending to be, like, Venti and all them. It's probably her studying the other Archons to, like, figure out how best to play this role. Don't worry. What you must do is not to turn yourself into a real god. You simply need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be. She was method acting, y'all. Being a human yourself, I'm sure you already know what such an entity would be like. Remember, your true challenge will not be pursuing divinity, but contending against humanity. True. Um, I'm still not sure I understand, but... I'll try. I'll try to do this. So, how long am I going to have to play this role? To accomplish this mission, you will have to stay on the stage for many, many years. Damn. You will endure and not grow old until your task ends. But I promise you, all will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. So does she know? And everyone will be saved. Wait, does she know? So she know? So she knew? She knew? Wait. No, wait, 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 wait. But she said the price of one for everyone. Wait, wait, wait. So is she actually going to die? Huh. How exciting. I'll be looking forward to it. This is so fucked up. Oh, this is so... This is as fucked as I thought it was going to be. Oh, my God. I don't even want to continue. Yes, you do. Um, I would just like to say I do not. Oh, God. <sighs> the Maison Cardinalise has announced my accession, but this is my first time facing the people. Yeah, like, how did she convince people she what was the Archon? What should I say to most appear like a god? To be honest, I still don't know. Perhaps I should first try to act natural. Ahem! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to Crazy the that she pulled this off. Plays. I'm sure you've all heard about how I have taken on the role of Hydro Archon. Indeed, I am Verena de Fontaine, your new Archon. In truth, I know little about becoming a nation's new god, but it will be my honor to guide you all. Queen of Improv, As for the real. As the god of the god of justice, 
I shall do all within my power to lead you into an age of fairness and justice. Once again, thank you all for coming. If you should have any questions or suggestions, please send them to the Maison Cardinalis. The future of Fontaine will require us to work together, after all. This should do it. I thought I might stammer, but thankfully, I was able to convey my thoughts just fine. Okay, and next. That's the new Hydro Archon. Is this some kind of joke by the Maison? I would have thought that a being that surpasses humanity would be a bit more assertive. The judgment. Hey, did you hear that? She even told us to send her suggestions there at the end. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? She's being so modest. What's the difference between her and an ordinary person then? Oh, if you ask me, perhaps the succession didn't actually happen. She might just be a maison back puppet. Wait, what's going on? Why is everyone suspecting me of being a fake? Oh, this is bad. If I get exposed here, the stress. there'll be no saving the people from the prophecy. Right. Mir me said that I just need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be. Calm down, Farina. Think. Think. What do the people want? How would they imagine a god to speak and act? Damn. It, what's kind of crazy is Farina, like, lost herself within this role. If you think about it, like we don't even really know what the real true Farina is like. We just know this outer shell that has been constantly like projected. Assertive, with a strong sense of presence. One who can dispel all doubt. That is the character I'm fated to play. <sighs> That's where the laugh comes from. <laughs> Very good, my people. Only ones such as you are deserving of my rule. Now, I was wondering if some weak puppet were to one day come onto the stage and claim ownership of this opera house, would the children of Fontaine follow them? <laughs> well, it seems that you would all see right through them. Having passed my test, you are qualified to witness wondrous trials alongside my august self here in this opera house. You may consider my previous act a door gift of sorts. I thought it was a debut that suited the atmosphere. Now then, let us be reintroduced. Ah, so that was just a performance. How could I have forgotten that we were inside an opera house? This is too good. It's quite shocking to be honest. I suppose it's a better look than before. Such a fascinating and bold deity. How wonderful. Our future may yet be bright after all. It seems I've turned them around. Best follow this flow and restart my accession speech. I Bosalore. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. My dear people, whether I've been you dragged into not, the Genshin rabbit hole wave. Good nay, luck. I say to you, it is a giant keep one. Keep faith in your ardor for justice. We have heard it said that this nation's sins can no longer be washed away. Well, turn I up the drama. Justice is most fragrant when it blooms amid sin. The scales of justice should not weigh heavy in the hands of its god. On one side, it must carry fairness and justice. <laughs> and on the other, praise and applause. May law be the prayer of law. our lips. May judgment be our worship. Let us light the fires and drink to the future of Fontaine. No, this won't work. They'll suspect me again. I must play the role that they want me to play. There is no oh, trouble interesting. in this world that justice cannot solve. All that is needed is for you, my people, to believe in it, heart and soul. So long as I, the Archon Fosalor, stand within the Opera Epicles, so long as I stand before the Oratrice, 
I shall even judge the gods of this world! Yeah! Not the cheers. Yeah, the VA killed the... Yeah, yeah, VA deserves a raise. Falsalor's room? Brian, thank you so much for the follow. Lady Farina, here are today's case reports, as well as a summary of the follow-up for your perusal. Oh, she's like... Huh. Come now, was I not just at the Opera House in person? Leave these kinds of things to Nervillette. Besides... None of these trials were the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, if I may be so impertinent, what kind of trial are you truly looking forward to? A magnificent, dramatic, and wondrous trial. A trial to end all things. <sighs> How could you hope to understand? That's true. I fear I lack the ability to grasp your divine thoughts, Lady Archon. No She's been waiting for, for it. And do not take what I said before too seriously. <laughs> Go now. Do your duties. The trial I await. It will come one day. Interesting. Lady Farina, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you for agreeing to see me. No need to thank me. Who is she talking Another, to? Thank your own sense of perseverance instead. Long have you stood in line to meet me, have you not? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that's just an inevitable I consequence <laughs> of my divine charm. <laughs> All right, Deuteria, is it? How is your son's illness? Uh, you remembered me, and you knew of my family, too. Uh, he is doing much better now. In fact, he is far more of an ardent believer than I. He was the one who forced me to seek an audience with you and to bring your words back to him. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. Very good. If this should happen again in the future, please do not hesitate to come and tell me. She Going knew about the plan. She knew about the plan the entire time. So often, while not usual practice, should serve as a fine change of pace. Oh, you're such a gentle and wise god. Thank you once again on behalf of my son. Okay. This is her trying to figure out, like, uh, Lady stuff. Farina, here are the latest hydrological reports. As for the specific parameters you asked to take note of, I'm afraid things still don't look good. The prophecy? It's as I thought then. As your god, I did already expect this, but I wanted to see how far your human wisdom would allow you to analyze it. I can't. All manner of signs indicate that the prophecy will still come to pass. Forget it. <laughs> That's not something you need to worry about right now. Freena just Googling how to stop a prophecy well, every day and it, clicking a million links. The Fontaine links. <laughs> Research Institute is also trying to find a way to counter the rising water levels. Really? Uh, have they found anything? I'm afraid that they haven't found any effective solution thus far. <clears throat> oh, is that so? Well, no wonder. This issue has reached the realm of the gods after all. Still, their spirit is praiseworthy. <laughs> Praiseworthy. She left a question on Quarrel 500 years ago and no one the responded. Day is over. I haven't had a moment to breathe this whole time. But it's good to see that everything's getting on track. There are no longer any voices of suspicion. Maybe this is fine. No, it's just the waiting game. I just need to keep going. And everyone will be saved. What a shit life. All right, Farina, don't think too hard about this. You need rest. No, I couldn't Tomorrow's handle this either. 
literally living like in anticipation. Lady Farina, here are the new trial reports for the latest cases, as well as a summary of the follow-up. Uh, there'll be no need for that. I've seen them already. There's no need to go back over scenes I've witnessed in person before. Lady Farina, I I've waited so, so long for this chance to see you in this manner. Indeed, my dear loyal citizen. This joyous moment is an honor for us both. Just doing this over and over and Lady over Farina, again. We're detecting significant hydrological anomalies near Poisson. Understood. Keep monitoring. Keep me informed should anything come up at the Institute. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't think I let anything slip today. I must show the people that there is nothing to worry about. I just don't know when these days will end. I feel utterly exhausted. Best to rest early today, too. The burnout. The burnout is truly insane. Good girl deserves a rest. the same outfit every day for 500 years 18,000 no, 182,000 it's, it's like a dream being able to speak with you up close like this I've heard that the first member of our family who was on 499.7 years Oteria, almost 20 generations ago <laughs> And what a fine family yours is indeed. It brings me great joy to meet such a faithful believer. A Damn. descendant of a line most ardent. <laughs> Surely you exaggerate, Lady Farina. She's going cray cray. Uh, um, my lady? Hmm? What is it, good citizen? Oh, are, are you crying? Uh-huh. I didn't even notice. This must be the overflow of hydro from my person. Well, can't quite help being the god whose dominion is the water. <laughs> can I? I love her! <laughs> no wonder. No wonder. A manifestation of your power, then. Oh, Archon, I am honored to have witnessed it. Honored indeed. This is so sad. <laughs> so interminable. <gasps> <laughs> but that's when we came. So lonely. Just how much longer? Hundreds the fountain. of years must have passed by now. Perhaps the show must go on for hundreds more. I never imagined. But it would hurt so much. Have I reached my limit? No. Perhaps I reached it long ago. Damn, they gave her trauma. Today I didn't even notice my own tears. I want to tell someone, anyone, about this. But would that not destroy all I've done so far? I've conducted so many investigations across the centuries. But there's not even a sliver of hope that we might break the prophecy. All I can do is keep heart. I must maintain this act. It is the only way to save Fontaine. Please, mirror me. You have to succeed. Damn. 
This is where she almost tells us. Serena, you don't have to shoulder this burden alone. Although I don't know what you might be keeping no. from everyone. Your people are more than willing to share your burden with you. Share my burden. She wanted to tell us. That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. But even if your burden doesn't need to be shared, you can still choose to confide in someone. Just share it with me. I'm what you call a witness. A witness? A witness of fate. <sighs> a witness yes. of fate. I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. This is this is this is this is a this is a direct quote from from N way back. From way back in Sumeru, the witnessing of fate. That's our role. And if to that is in its entirety a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? Hold on. <sighs> if that's the case. Does she know that we're a descender? She's right. I could confide in Oh, her. she has a different outfit. But if things don't play out as expected, the people of Fontaine will be the ones to pay the price. Zhang Li also mentioned Traveler being a witness to Devat's history. I honestly I didn't pay attention to Liwei's storyline, so probably. No, Farina. You shouldn't be selfish. But what if what if it's really all right? Serena, you've worked so hard for so, so long. Surely it would be okay to put yourself first for once. Damn. Just this once. Is it such an outrageous thing to do anyway? To find someone in whom you All she wanted was like a friend, bro. Surely. That's all she wanted. She just wanted a friend. If you let this opportunity slip through your fingers, it might never come by again. Think about it long and hard. Uh, no, I have nothing to say. I am Farina. The Archon of Fontaine. Everything will surely get better. All you need to do, dear spectator, is to witness my performance until the curtains fall. <sighs> She's strong. Fine. Um. So even Farina doesn't know the truth? You've never once let her in on the full plan? Yes, it had to be done. To deceive the heavenly principles, you must first deceive yourself. I don't know what y'all realize this is saying. I don't think y'all realize what this is saying. It's Lumine and Aether. It's literally Lumine and Aether. It's like the dichotomy of it. Where Aether... Well, okay, if you're playing my version, Aether knows everything. But in the canon version, where Lumine knows everything, has the plan, and is waiting for you to catch up, it is the same thing. Their whole goal is literally to deceive the heavenly principles through deceiving themselves purposefully. She did very well. If she had let her resolve falter even once in these five centuries, 
Fontaine would have been doomed to the most tragic fate. You're eating today with these theories? <laughs> it just seems, it just seems too perfect. Like, it just seems too aligned at this point. Yeah, so we're playing the role of Farina in our own story. Yeah. Eat all you can, buffet theories. The Farina IRL is not accurate. We're actually at 323. <laughs> It only looks a high because it's still counting the subs from the subathon, but we're at 323 subs right now. It seems that trusting humanity was the right decision after all. I believe that I understand how your deception works, but that is only half the truth, is it not? What else? How would you build on this foundation to save the people of Fontaine? That is the most important thing. Ah, good, good. Of course, the Udex of Fontaine has pinpointed the crux of the issue. I'm sure you've long sensed that the Oratrice is no simple machine, yes? I've always suspected that it had its own consciousness. And Linny did mention that he heard a human voice within the core chamber. It now seems that that person was you, hidden within the machine all along. Am I right? And then I became right again. one with the Oratrice, taking Fontaine's Gnosis with me. And the Gnosis yes. is in the Oratrice, yes. It would seem so, wouldn't it? Alas, your understanding of this device still lacks sufficient depth. In truth, it is no enactor of justice. It is, in fact, a device created to kill the God of Justice. Beg your pardon? What the fuck? Oh, you have it. And to be more precise, not only will the Oratrice take down the God of Justice, it will also take down the Divine Throne upon which she has been placed. Like in Celestia? <laughs> I mean, did you think I would be the sort to enjoy peaceful repose Malfarina suffered. My work over these last 500 years has been to constantly accumulate indemnidium within the Oratrice. But really, some have already discovered that only a small fraction of the energy generated by the device was ever used to provide power to Fontaine. The vast majority has been, had to be, accumulated. To enact this death sentence. Oh my god. They're literally using the power of the gods to literally fucking kill a god, like, permanently. It was all a part of your plan, then. Both the trial and the sentence. Indeed. This power, accrued over five centuries, could have sustained Fontanians for millennia had it only been used for that purpose. Almost all of it has now been stored within the Oratrice. Oh my god. But only power of this magnitude could hope to destroy the Hydro Archon's divine throne, shaking the rules established by <gasps> Celestia and to become the, six? the institution that is the Seven. The seven become the six, and chat, they're all demons. The number six, 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 the coming of hell. Holy shit, how did we not see this coming? This is literally gonna start the war. This is the war of heavens and hells. Oh so my god. The Oratrice's call for death was for neither Farina nor Fosalor, but for the Hydro Archon. The destruction of that divine throne. If I do not misunderstand your you intent... You cook too much? You must be. I mean, I'm not saying it's all happening right now. I'm just saying that this is... This is like... The lead up to that abyss, Fontaine, that abyss celestial war. 
Returning what's rightfully yours to you, of course. Oh! In other words, this was all done to return the authority of the Hydro Archon to the Hydro Dragon of this planet. So is my new Valette gonna get buffed? Like, after I complete this quest, like, will my new Valette's damage go up? I'm assuming it will. But... We all get C6! <laughs> No, oh, what? Getting sad again, are we? The authority of the ancient dragons shall soon be yours once more, O oh Hydro Dragon Sovereign. And this is the face you make. <laughs> but at what cost? What the fu- All you've done throughout the years is just so you can sacrifice yourself at the very end. Damn. I've never quite seen it that way, you know. Even now, I'm quite pleased at how well my deception worked. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna rain like hell. Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry. He's a soft boy. I must say, had it been within my rights, I would have loved to judge the heavenly principles themselves. Were they not guilty of essentially the same crime? Damn, false allure? This is crazy. I thought Fontaine was going to be the closest to the divine and want to be with Celestia, but it's actually the complete opposite. And she is the most anti-Celestia. Wow, this is so interesting. Egeria stole the power of the primordial sea. And the heavenly principle stole the power you ancient dragons possessed. I, for my part, am the god of justice. And is it not just that your original powers should be returned to you? Interesting. Speaking of justice, I have always believed that justice lies in the process of pursuing human existence itself. So, if the theft of the Primordial Sea's might was Fontaine's original sin, then, leaving matters of procedural right and wrong aside, the descent of the Fontanians as humans and their right to exist in this world would be Fontaine's original justice. In other words, existence was Egeria's justice, and to me, Justice is the continuation of that existence. Defying the prophecy and ensuring that Fontaine's people shall live on. That should be the justice enthroned over all others. Damn, Volsalor saying true justice. The protection of the innocent. At this point, we, whether it be myself or all other Fontanians, have shouldered the burden of this sin for far too long. Eudex Nervillet, the highest judge in our land. When you regain your full power as an elemental sovereign, what verdict shall you pass upon us? Is she saying us as Archons or as Fontanians? So when I was invited to the court of Fontaine to serve as Eudex, I see now that that was your idea too. At last, I now understand the true purpose behind this position. In the beginning, I was uninterested in human existence. But these five centuries of living alongside them have gradually brought about mutual understanding between us. And I have even attempted to feel as they feel. You are a devious one, Fosalor. Damn that line. Things being as they are. Surely you know that I could never declare them to be guilty. <laughs> She's like, hee hee. Oh my god. <sighs> the hour of my execution <gasps> is almost here. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. 
<laughs> Farewell, Nervalet. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I declare, people of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. What just happened? Has the death sentence been carried out? Oh my god. Was that bright light some sort of misdirection? I have a feeling that something huge just happened. But since we're all still alive and haven't been dissolved, I assume whatever happened was good for us. It's time to end this. We must meet our punishment to that beast. Wait! Didn't you say just a oh my moment god. ago that it can't be defeated? I forgot about the whole ass whale. I literally forgot about this whole ass whale. Oh my god. I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. T Through certain means, I now have the ability to separate the power of the primordial sea from that creature. We should seize the opportunity to pursue our quarry. <laughs> you obtained power just now? Yeah. Traveler, now that the oratories can no longer function, I require an executor to help me mete out justice. The root of the calamities befalling Fontaine. The beast that enacts the prophecy. Its name is the all-devouring Narwhal. Come with me, traveler. The hour of execution has come. Oh, not that line being used again! Next part's gonna make you go crazy. I can't deal with more. Wait, why does it look like a planet? Oh my god. We're going to execute it? What do you mean? How are we going to do that? It's huge! I've Ow! my best to separate the power of the primordial sea from the way. Considering the size of the beast, I cannot reach the power source. Unless... Find a way to attack it from within. Oh my God, there's so much help! the ancient dragon. I shall look for an opening to get it. I can feel its sorrow turning into hostility. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I summon thee. We 
Twin strike. Show them. Was doing something. Nothing lasts forever. Emerge right now. Emerge. Oh god. This is like huge. This this arena. The all devouring Narwhal oh? can't resist its instinct to devour. Continue to trigger its hostility. Chance will present itself. What's it doing? What's it doing? Oh fuck! The moment and use my power to suppress this group. How does one use that power? Let me know. Emerge. Thank you. What Child, rip child. <laughs> Where the Thanks fuck did they throw child? Should have been my job, but oh well. Wait, so Skirk isn't the whale. Skirk isn't the whale. He just, she just yeeted him through to another fucking abyss. It was just supposed to be a short private training session for me. I didn't think that my disciple and my master's pet would start brawling in the meantime. My master's pet? Fucking tea. Fucking tea. Fucking tea. Wait, what? Well, actually, I had a feeling that it would happen at some point. But they bumped into one another earlier than I thought. What a blunder. I suppose I'll have to swing my sword three million times as penance. Three million times. Who the fuck that is your master? Power. Who are you exactly? Uh, Hyman has an idea. From what she said earlier, she must be Child's master. Skirk, right? It's just that he gave us the impression that she was the less talkative person. Yeah, she uses a sword. You're right. I didn't even take that in. You're right. She's a sword user. Confirmed. I simply did not have anything to say to the weak. But you, on the other hand, managed to defeat the all-devouring Narwhal without using power from beyond this world. Well, there, that confirms the other elements. And there you go. That confirms the other elements. That confirms quantum. That confirms quantum, for sure. That's what Dane uses, right there. That is literally the power that Dane has. So you may speak to me as equals. I literally can't even deal with this right now. There's so much that has happened within like an hour. I have to agree. It's a strange use of a planet's primordial waters just to raise an all devouring narwhal. Oh, <gasps> that's why she looks like she's from Honkai. Holy shit. That's why she looks like she's from Honkai. Because she's like she's like a world traveler. Holy I'm literally losing my mind. Literally losing my mind. That kind of power is wasted on it. 
It's not cooperative. It eats too much. And I have more important things to do with my time than pet sitting. The only thing that creature has going for it is its looks. All in all, it fails as a pet. Okay. Hey, uh, Miss Skirk, uh, I think you might have missed the point. The point being? Well, being that this pet almost destroyed an entire nation. So what sort of person is your master? Well, child's master's master. Wait, is that right? Oh, right. So you don't know him. Sorry, I assumed you did. I'm so- I don't even want to click. His name is Sir Teloji. <laughs> Write it down! Write it down! Write it down! Write it down! Who? <gasps> I am unfamiliar with that name. Huh. So Master is insufficiently famous. Huh. How should the I foul? describe him then? Have you heard of the name The Foul? Like The Foul Legacy? The Foul? Her eyes have the quantum symbol? Shut the fuck up. Wait, what? You're kind of, you, you, you can kind of see, I get what you mean, the pupil. The pupil. Still nothing? Well, how about the visionary? Gold! Is that then? Or gold, Ryan daughter? Wait, 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 are they saying, wait, 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 wait. Gold is like they're the same person, like foul, like 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 gold's actual name, like Ryan Jody, or like they, these are these are all names that they go by. Albedo's mom. Wait, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Ooh, that one we've heard. Ryan Doctor's part of the Hexen Circle. She's Albedo's mom, right? Oh, so you do know that name? Oh, to they're be honest, all names. I also heard all of those names and titles from my master. I don't actually know them either. Wait, they're all connected? Like, they all know each other? Like, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a group. Another group. Her master's a dude. Her master's a dude. But they're, they're basically saying, like, it's like a group. Like, a group of people. Her master is gold. I don't what no they said to be honest I also heard of all those names and titles from my master I actually I don't actually know them either no her master knows gold her master is not gold themselves no no, no. yeah her master just knows gold and the other people that were mentioned but I suppose you understand now yes my master is likely a similar sort to Ryan daughter. They are both pursuing some form of perfection. What? Per like perfection? Like, like what? Like with Albedo? Like humans? Like creationism? Wait, didn't you also mention a visionary person? Hyman didn't quite catch their name. Actually, never mind that. I believe it expedient to inform you that the all-devouring narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. Okay. As such, the Fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. Oh, great. In other words, the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. Lovely. There's little to be surprised about Paimon. It is natural after all the prophecies will surely come true. We knew this and accepted it. However... Not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the heavenly principles. 
Why? In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain, weeping on her throne. Jesus. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. survived because of Nouvellet. Nouvellet cleansed them of their sins so they, they, they don't dissolve anymore. They don't dissolve anymore because of what Nouvellet did. Oh my god! Oh, for a second I thought it was Ramiria. I was supposed to lose my fucking mind. Wait, that is the ship! Wait, the ship! I win! Miss All Link. hands, initiate emergency rescue! Oh my god! Hurry! Hey, lend a hand! Wait, where's Linny and Lynette? Oh, there's Lynette. Wait, Look, I didn't finish. The water's receding. Oh, thank God. I was gonna say, like, I didn't finish my exploration. Wait. The prophecy was wrong. The prophecy was wrong. Oh, Celestia's gonna be pissed, bitch. Wait, Farina! I'm gonna cry again. I'm gonna cry literally again, for fuck's sake. It's looking a bit fucked up with the trees, but we can we can clean it up. We can clean it up. We can do it, Farina. This fucking quest, bro. This fucking quest. Oh my god. I've never cried so much for Genshin. Jesus. The solo renewed. The Spina de Rasula tax post disaster rebuilding. I recently visited Poisson to meet with Miss Navia, spokesperson of the Spina de Rasula, and we spoke about Poisson's present and future. Old soil can still give birth to new bloom, Miss Navia. Oh, the seeds! It's like seeing a small cookie when you're starving late at night. You just need a little of it. Skyship Winglet, Booner Brain of the Fontaine Research Institute. Yeah, where, where is that going to be? Like, are they going to keep that the out? The various disputes that have arisen on account of Mr. Edwin have suddenly become a shield over the Institute, with Julia turning out to be a once-overlooked hidden gem. People always call the first researcher mad, but few know what to call the second. And should that latter person achieve a miracle, they would find it all the harder to find a word with which to classify him and his team. Wow, Paimon barely recognizes the people wow. in the report. Are those really Julia and Navia? They sound like real big shots. What do you think? Pretty enthralling, huh? The Steambird's idea was pretty simple. With the disaster just having passed, 
we would print a free edition packed to the margins with good news to calm people down. Not everyone just jumping. The value for these big scoops lies in their inevitable follow-ups. We'll publish further reports and go into the story. Literally, R.I.P. Child. Where Our the fuck is Child? Our created a true flying ship, while Navia is leading people in the reconstruction of their home. I'm sure that these stories could draw even your well-traveled eye. He got yeeted. This is actually so crazy. I don't know if you guys realize the implications of this quest line. Like, holy shit. This Arkham quest just threw the next three to four years of Genshin in a completely different direction. I'm too! Uh, wait a minute. Didn't we watch everything happen from start to finish? What's there to be curious about? And that's exactly why I'd like you to come conduct interviews with me. You're the best incubators of news, if you haven't noticed. And also, with you around, I'm sure I'll get to see that duke. It's not over yet? What do you uh, mean? Are you sure? Hasn't he turned you down several times already? I'm, in a, I'm already hyperventilating. Oh, this time will be different. Come on. Let's head to Poisson first, and then make a trip to the fortress. There are some things you'll only know when you get there. Guys, the whale. You know when the whale got, like put into that ball of energy. Did that not look like the quantum symbol too? Or am I crazy? It did, didn't it? I can't. Guys, everyone's been clowning on me for like months when I'm like, guys, quantum's gonna come. It's gonna happen. Blah, 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 blah. This is and this. And then when it does, I can't. I fucking can't. I fucking can't. <laughs> Where am I going right now? It looked like the Nihility Aeon. Look at the item you got at the on. A drop of water obtained from within the Colossal Beast who coveted the primordial sea of life, a philosopher in the faraway ancient world, once posited that there, where there is life, there is death. Naturally, where there is death, there is life. If not, then a fleeting light cannot resist the eternal darkness, and all withers into nothingness at the end of time. Oh my god. The rules among the stars dictate that nature must be conserved, but the laws of the universe have never been conserved in a sealed box destruction always overpowers new life why is this giving honkai star rail millennia upon millennia of prosperity are but an instant in a span of billions of years the greatest of achievements the proudest accomplishments in all time all tarnish decay dissipate and ultimately fade into oblivion Thus, there are things floating among the stars once adorned with countless prestigious titles from innumerable civilizations shedding tears for their ordained demise. This is the longest thing ever. Their tears stream down out of desperation, out of hope, because all desperation and hope alike will be utterly extinguished along with a measure innumerable stars their tears stream down out of sorrow out of joy because both will eventually scatter into the cold dark endless void every tiny yet beautiful silhouette and every moment worth remembering will fade with time and with time even stars and then there are these so-called gods that are determined to save everything worth saving and devoured everything that should be devoured until the end of time, until the sea of stars recess into nothing but dying embers, until a newborn world moves from the first time the stomach in the stomach of a whale. There will be no more sins, no more sadness, no more tears, because everything died within the ancient stars. It's like it's like a prophecy for like the end of everything. It's like the end of everything. It's like it's kind of like talking about like it, it, it almost sounds like it's describing in a, like a poetic way what um the like prophesized end of our own like IRL world is where all the stars will eventually burn out 
and everything will just be cold, cold and devoid of life in all ways. Like a cold, dark nothingness. Weird. Can you not collect drops on mobile? You can, you just have to watch the stream from browser, not from the Twitch app. Navia! Does this mean we only have six Archons? Yes. Oh, it's you. What brings you all here? Hey, we're just happy to look around. I'm here to update myself on how things are going here. Hmm? Oh, the Fatui are here too! Ah, uh, uh, let me introduce you. This is Mr. Garunt Snezhevich. He represented the Knave in sending us a large amount of supplies. And no, is no, helping no, no. with our work. The fucking Fatui. Our residents are hard at work as well. Thanks to everyone, work is progressing nicely. We've lost a lot of people. But we are moving forward. That will have to be enough. So yeah, Farina, Farina is not the Archon and she's not going to become the Archon. Farina is human. And there cannot be a Hydro Archon because they destroyed the seat of the Seven for Hydro when they killed Fulsalor. Hello, Miss Charlotte. I'm a big fan of yours. I especially like that article you wrote last year about Fontaine's stray cats. But if you don't mind, could you not emphasize our role too much in your report? It's not charity we're doing here. We just happen to share the same interests as Espina. Not them trying to downplay their involvement. I get where you're coming from. I'll keep it as simple as possible. Or would you be willing to feature as friendly neighbors? That would be fine. Thanks. Notlin's gonna be crazy because didn't Falsalor awaken Celestia? I think we're going to find that out with Dane's questline if it's not determined by the end of this. Or even in 4.3. Like, there was an epilogue, you guys have to remember, with, um, with Sumeru in the Scara quest. Remember? Like, we still had an Archon quest, kind of, like, in 3.3. In so we could have a 4.3 that kind of deals with the aftermath of this. And, like, it is Navia and Charlotte, so we are still, like, Fontaine-related in 4.3, right? Like, it's not like we're going to a different nation. Like, it still seems like it's 4.3 is still Fontaine. Oh, you're back, too. How are things? We finished laying down the construction materials. It'll be another hour before the workers are able to go over there. Of course they well, are. Well, her reputation's greatly risen after that whole duel business with Miss Farina. So she's here in Poisson to wait out the heat. <laughs> she seems uh, annoying. All right, all right. She really came here to help me out. Oh? Not the being endgame. There's too much to consider in the reconstruction of Poisson. The Spina has need of more decision makers. And, well... I do already happen to be connected to Mr. Callus. Oh, wait, just a moment. Do you mind me asking a few questions? You know, about how you felt before the duel. Uh, about what it was like facing down a god. There's lots of exciting material there, I bet. Florence gonna be like, absolutely uh, not. Forget it. I'm sure you can find a better theme than that, Miss Charlotte. <laughs> Gagged. Uh, I see you're the same as always. Couldn't you do me a favor, for Navia's sake? Well, if we're talking about doing things for my sake, you might as well just take a few more photos of me. Or of the Traveler. It's better than wasting time persuading Chlorand at any rate. Of course I will. I'm not gonna let her off that easy. All right, then everyone who wants to be in the photo, gather up. And smile. Cute. How did it go? Was it a good shot? Did Paimon look cute in it? Not How? bad. Your addition really helped the composition of the picture. All right, hang on a moment. Let me snap a few more shots. 
Okay, Marge. <laughs> All right, that should do it. I know who you are. Later anyway, so uh, let's call it a day. <laughs> You're very quick. Speed is of the essence when it comes to the news, and freshness is the key. Also, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at building connections. Who knows? I might eventually get that interview with you after all, Miss Clarand. How? Wow, you really do have that never-say-die spirit. I'm impressed. Talk to Navia? Okay. <laughs> I'll hazard a guess that this is how you got that interview at the Fortress of Maripede. Whoa, you're well informed. Let me make a guess, too. I asked Sijuin, who told Monsieur Nervillette, and he told you, right? That's a very complete information chain. In truth, <laughs> all Monsieur Nervillette asked me was... Two, he's like... When did the fortress saying. become so friendly towards the media? I told him that it was best not to speak too soon. There's no guarantee that Ridesley will make a personal appearance. You're right. I've got to treasure every moment I have with them. In which case, I'll be making a move first. <sighs> Stay safe now. And... Tell me if you hear anything interesting. I'll treat you to afternoon tea in exchange. You seem curious about the fortress. Of course. Ah, that Risley. I still remember going down to the fortress to grill him for information on my father's case. Boy, did he take me for a ride. Without telling me anything, of course. But he did invite you to tea, didn't he? Two large pots of it, in fact. It was good tea, though. <laughs> the, way, the way that it is talking I have to agree. This. The tea there is very good. Ah, speaking of that, would you like to have some today? <gasps> I mean, you've got time, right? What? Well, I'd be partial to some shortbread. Huh? It's like a date? Wow, <laughs> it's like we've got a menu or something. <laughs> sure, sure. Mm, good. What flavor of biscuits would you like, Mr. Snezhevich? Me? Uh, I'm fine with anything. How? But I would prefer chocolate, should you have it. All right. Leave it to me. I'll go over the newly arrived supplies with you later, Mr. Snezhevich. We should be able to finish the preparatory work <laughs> but today. we go home! <laughs> that works great for me. Huh. Is it just me, or did you get a new lipstick? Why are you paying attention to her lips? How do, and and how do you know what her previous lipstick was? Uh, I did. It was a gift from Sijuin. Want to give it a try? I think the color would suit you too. Oh, oh, like are you going to transfer it like mouth to mouth? Hello? <laughs> the let's go lesbian. <laughs> Everyone in chat just screaming. Absolutely wild. Um, I just want to say, I know we're not fully through, but I just want to say thank you to everybody, all the people who are here watching me do this, both the new and old. Thank you for all the follows and everything. It's been a blast. Thank you for nobody for spoiling anything. Oh my god, it was so nice to experience this. Um without getting spoiled what a fucking ride this has been together holy yes you guys did behave so well sip stepping also known as sip wow. in the Guess we're here again, huh? there's a real nostalgic feeling to this place looks like you've been missing us Did you come all the way to the entrance to greet us? Of course. Oh, he looks so good. Oh. Our dear Miss Charlotte, whom our good head nurse recommended to me. It's an honor to finally meet the much rumored Duke. Thank you for consenting to my visit to the fortress, sir. No need to thank me. But that said, I shouldn't be the focus of your interview. I trust you recall our agreement? Of course, of course. All right then, this way. All right. Uh, uh, Help! Hey, They're so no uncomfy. To be so nervous. I've already taken all the photos we need. Um, Miss Charlotte, do these pictures really need to be published on the cover of the Steambird? 
It would seem that Miss Lorveen doesn't want her face to appear beside that of Mr. Jurier, hmm? Oh! Sir, please don't say things like that. <laughs> but it looks like dear Mr. Jurier denies it. Might this interview be very important to you, then? No, I, I, I just... The tea of these two. This is my two. first time being interviewed, and I'm very thankful to the Steambird for... <laughs> now, I might not look it, but I actually did meet Mr. Edwin once. And I'll be honest, I enjoyed chatting Suku, with you thank more. you so much for the follow. You've definitely got more of that genius vibe going on. The boat that brought about a miracle. The ark that saved the people. Why, you recreated a myth back there, like an emissary of legend. I wonder if that boat is going to come back into the picture at some point. Guys, we actually have a new Jade Chamber, which is the Noah's Ark boat. And the Jade Chamber came back, and I feel like this boat is going to come back too somehow. Still, if I might ask, where's that flying ship now? Oh, they, see me and Charlotte? Me and Charlotte, same. We're the same people. Huh. Looks like Charlotte's trying to get herself another exclusive scoop. We're the same. I have to apologize, but that ship is presently in the bowels of our factory. I'm afraid it won't be easy for you to get a so shot. So they're still working on it. They're working on it. Really? Well, then in that case, could I have an interview with you to make up for that loss? You already know my answer, I'm afraid. Best you interview our head nurse instead. Or perhaps you'd like to take another photo of this couple of researchers? Did you really have to use the word couple? <laughs> well then, two solo- Is my hair messed up? Please, someone help me have a look. No. Things sure are getting pretty lively here. Eh, we've seen this kind of thing before. Oh, seems like everyone's here. Would any of you like to try this new drink I came up with? Absolutely uh, not. Sejui. Absolutely not, Sejui. Uh, uh, hey, Miss Charlotte. Why don't you, uh... Take some pretty photos of our head nurse. <laughs> Get that away from us. <laughs> uh, sure. Come on, Miss Sejuane. Over this way. Let's find a brighter spot. Huh? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, do I have to smile? <laughs> she's so, like, she's so, like, disassociated no, from reality in human life. Place. Same old, same old, as you can see. Fontaine's undergone some changes, but this place is still more or less the same. Other than that flying ship. I got a tad too much attention, I think. Oh. That's why I decided to let the interview go through. We should direct more public opinions toward the behind-the-scenes heroes. Am I right, Mr. Jurier? They don't Miss want Lurie? the ship to get too much attention. Interesting. You're too kind, sir. I believe that you too should have your day in the sun. Not that you would want that, which is a pity. <laughs> I'll just leave the spotlight to you two. I see. Lots of things happened that day, huh? Anyway, regarding that harbinger, I'm not sure you remember, but his three young followers are still waiting for his return. He sure did win them over, Arlequino. Huh? I'll tell them that there's good news and bad news. The good being that their boss seems fine, and the bad being that they must face extended sentences for abetting his escape. Oh, actually, what about you? Are things gonna change for you, too? <laughs> what change can there be? The child? Oh, along, child. So but wait, what? Really? I thought that, oh, I thought they were referring to Arlequino because they say Arlequino's father. Are you sure it's child? As to what Miss Farina's departure will mean for the nation, and if our laws and governance will be transformed, we'll leave those to the folks in the overworld. Hey everyone, the photo shoot's done. The three prisoners who were child's friend. Oh, so they're saying Linny, Lynette, Fremine, and then like the child they're friends with. Okay, okay, so then it's child. Good. In that case, let's call it a day here. But I don't, I didn't, did they say he was okay or did they say they don't know? But that he'll just have to serve his time when he comes back. Thanks for your cooperation. I don't think Come they on, confirmed Traveler, the child's go. like okay. Till next time, everyone. He's okay. So where is he? Did he leave the abyss? Like I'm so confused. There'll be a next time. Maybe. Who knows? I might write a story about the underwater factory next time. Until then. 
Child had his own three stooges among the prisoners. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The dudes that meet us in the pipe right before we're leaving. Yes. I know what you're talking about. All right. Last stop, the docks. Oh, you know, I'd love to see you in one of Charlotte's photo shoots one day. How? Is that really necessary? Our line of work doesn't really require much photographing. <laughs> it's precisely because we don't need the picture that they'll have value as keepsakes. We don't really look all that opposed to the idea, you know? Oh, well, maybe I'm just happy that I managed to once again avoid the spotlight. I think this interview went well either way. Yes, you successfully kept prying eyes away by using Mr. Jurier and Miss Lorvina's shields. Very good. You should be happy for them. They have a bright future ahead of them. Interesting. Here are the interview notes. They mentioned that the flying ship may have many uses in the future, and the I told journalist you. asked me what I thought of them. Seriously, how would I know anything about that? Flight is just flight. Whether people want to use a flying ship to broadcast good news or organize weddings is none of my beeswax. A wedding? <gasps> Who's getting married? <gasps> Navia and Clorin can in marriage on the fucking airship in the sky. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? So the flying ship can be used for weddings? Oh wait, are they talking about themselves? I didn't say that. That journalist mentioned it, and what does that have to do with us anyway? True. What does that have to do with us? I'm dead. I don't care about uh, some NPC ass wedding. Where do I go now? Return to the harbor? Oh my god, all the way at the beginning? Where it all started? Full circle? Potato Chip, thank you for the follow. Love your name. Okay, but can we just talk about the fact that this would be the perfect time to hold a meeting of the fucking Archons for them to be like, what the fuck just happened? Because there is no Hydro seat anymore. I'm just saying... Read their voice lines? You guys, lore, lore talks on Thursday are going to be crazy. Tomorrow's stream is going to be wild with lore. mentioned that she stayed in touch with Linny and the others after working together. Apparently, they've been How long have the we been streaming for? Six hours and 30 minutes. Time since. Traveler, Paimon. Ah, and Miss Charlotte, too. Would you like a magic pocket? Mm -hmm. What sort of gadget is it? It's a wondrous bag that can be used to carry many things. The water level has returned to normal. But if you see any of your things floating around, you can use this to carry them. Or you could trick a friend into doing it for you. Trick a friend? Hmm, I wonder which of my friends would fall for that. Those damn pockets. Oh! Oh! You could just make a friend like Fremine here. Isn't that right, Fremine? Oh, Lynette's like trying to make them friends. <sighs> Is this what you meant by how I'll help you oh. make some more friends? To be honest, that sounds pretty sweet. Could I have your contact, please? Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, please, write down my address. Not the cryo girlies. The cryo girlies being friends. Sure, working hard to help Fermine socialize. He was the one who proposed doing this. He even wants to assist in our magic shows. 
Oh. Yes, I was planning to first introduce Pear as an assistant, and later Fremenet himself. In the future, I think we can leave underwater escape magic to him too. Who's Pears? That said, would anyone want to see a diver escape underwater? Oh, the penguin! Oh! oh, it'll work out. Every journey begins with the first step. That's cute. He'll become a part of our show eventually. Uh, Lynette, could you come over? Miss Charlotte says she wants to take a picture of us. Of course. My, that Charlotte is rather perceptive. She got rid of everyone the moment she realized I had something to say to you. Help. So... How have things been? I can't with Lenny. Father says that you did a great deal during the latest events. She's very grateful for your contributions to Fontaine. Where is she? Where's 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 Arlequino? What's she doing now? Oh, I guess you haven't heard. Well, after Lady Farina left, Father and Monsieur Nervilet opened negotiations during which he gave Fontaine's gnosis to her as a diplomatic gift I'm about to beat the otter's ass A diplomatic gift? A gnosis? He did that on purpose. Yes, I was quite surprised at first myself. But when I thought it over, there were actually a number of things going for it. It could have been done as an apology for the incident with Lord Child, or as thanks for his help in tying the all-devouring Narwhal down. He did it on purpose. He knows what he's doing. Furthermore, Father did also lend significant aid to Fontaine and Poisson. Well, uh, that's true, but this is a gnosis we're talking about. Doesn't this seem a bit... Uh, irresponsible? I would agree, but I've also heard that... It seems that Monsieur Nervilet has had a significant change of heart regarding the matter. Mm. Uh, so there's some reason for this that only Nervilet knows about? I suspect you'll have to ask him about that yourself. Ah, yes, speaking of which, I did see him strolling around the entrance to the Fortress of Meripede a while back. Uh, isn't he real busy and stuff? I didn't think he'd have the time for that. No, of course he sides with a Fatui. And at this point, everyone's got to side with the Fatui now that we've destroyed one Let's of the seats the of the seven. This was given to the knave, right? What about Child? Oh! Someone call Sam. They say that he's returned to Snezhnaya to recover from his wounds. I hear no, that the he didn't disaster die! Really did a number on his health. He's alive! He's alive, chat! Confirmed alive and well, waiting for us. In Chesnaya. Sam, he's alive. He's confirmed alive in Chesnaya. So that means we're not going to see him. We're not going to see him in Notlin. But he's definitely going to be in that Chesnaya arc. That's true. When you think about it, we've had lots Put of him down. <laughs> to think we'd be allied with them this time. Yeah, he's still missing a vision. I, I, my theory is, I'm going to stick with the chat. My theory is, they're setting up Child to be the first character in Genshin to have a secondary version that runs on the banner, and he'll be Quantum. I'm convinced that's what they're setting up for. Like, you know how in, like, Honkai Impact 3rd, like, there are characters with, like, different versions? Or, like, for instance, like, in, like, Honkai Star Rail? Where you have like Don Hung Wind and Don Hung Imaginary. I, I feel like Child will have the, that secondary version. And that's why they were showing the vision dimming because he's like aligning with some other power form. So shocked by such a simple switching of sides? Whose voice is that? Is that N again? Oh! Father. Well, well, what do you know? Come to the docks to see how my children are doing and meet the traveler by chance. Please do not pay my accomplishments in Fontaine too much mind. Are like Are you going to take the no 
suspect is Snezhnaya? Yeah, let us know, Arlequino. We, we did help you. That is our duty as harbingers, yes. Okay. What are you guys doing with them? <laughs> what are you guys doing with those gnosises? Don't be too preoccupied with sides. The goal of the Fatui concerns not a single place or person, but the entire world. With such a grand goal in mind, it is inevitable that we must wear many masks. Mm -hmm. Switching my masks is something I've always done. Will you keep your, pos keep your position? Well, that depends on many things. No one truly knows what the future holds. What good is honesty if you can't rely on it forever? This is this is kind of sus. This is kind of sus. This is kind of sus towards a future a future backstab with Arlequino. As for you, I very much look forward to our next collaboration. Good things cannot be achieved alone, and you've proved yourselves to be great partners. Oh, oh, she has a plan. Chill is real thing social to follow. Something is coming in this Fontaine arc still with Arlequino. A vision. <sighs> All right, I'll remember to return it. Oh, we Thank give it back. Thank you for keeping it safe for him this entire time. We give we give Child's vision back. That's a wrap for me. It, huh? You, you're. Greetings, Miss Journalist. <laughs> Arlequin was like, holy fuck. Uh, um, hello. If I'm not mistaken, there are diplomatic channels I'll need to report to to take a photo of you. T. That is correct. So <laughs> forgive me, but I will not be able to serve as a subject in your article. However, feel free to write as much as you'd like about our dear magicians and our upcoming rookie talent. I... I will. The sea breeze is quite pleasant. Oh, I shall continue my walk while the weather remains so agreeable. I wonder what Arlequino's opinion is of Farina now, and if she, like, I wonder if she knows. Farewell, father. Oh, she has such an intimidating presence. I didn't even dare to take a picture. Thankfully, I've already wrapped up all my pre-scheduled interviews. Thank you all. This will be more than enough for me to write about, I'm sure. Don't be too nervous. Why don't you take a magic pocket before you go? Here, traveler, Paimon. I can't. You take one too. To move things about? That's right. <laughs> Funny. I was giving out magic pockets when we first met too. And what do you know? I'm doing the exact same thing right now. So many things have happened, but the pockets are still the pockets. What is Linny going on about? I guess this must be life. We will all follow our own paths. And serendipity will lead you to your fated friends. Oh my god, more fate. All right then. We'll be handing out pockets in some other districts later, so we'll get going now. Have a good day, you two. Well, guess we sent Charlotte off. Shall we go see the Nouvellet? Where's Nouvellet? Ooh, he's... <gasps> he's, at, he's at the place. He's at the place. The one that originally looked like the guillotine. Give us the tea, bitch. Right now, right here. About to get crazy. How much more crazy can it get? Right now, right here. Oh God! What now? How I can't take anymore. I can't take anymore. There's too much already. So you really are your Nivellet. I didn't think you were going to have free time this hour of the day. Really? Oh, I suppose you must have met Mr. Linney. He took the time to greet me earlier when he passed this way. 
In any case, you came at a good time. I was just considering reaching out to you to set up a meeting, so I may explain some things that I haven't had the time to before. Aw, Kaiden's glad that you remembered. Thank you for keeping us on your mind, what with you being busy and all. Alright, let's have it then. How is Fontaine actually saved? The whole business is still quite the mystery to us. The, this is him, clen he cleansed the sin, right? Astro, thank you so much for the follow. <sighs> It is strange how words can often leave a bitter taste in the mouth when it finally comes time to say them out loud. You let say softly before telling you the truth concerning what he saw that day. False alert to see the heavenly principles and used Farina's endless performance to save Fontaine. Whoa. So that's what happened? Oh, so we didn't know about that until right now. Yeah, that makes sense because we weren't obviously talking to Farina at that point. Sorry guys, my headphones are about to die at the worst time. No, and we didn't even get to see what the Hydronosis looks like. Fossilor destroyed the divine throne of the Hydro Archon and restored your power to you, transforming you into a fully-fledged elemental dragon sovereign! Mm-hmm. But Paimon still doesn't quite get what you did to save the Fontanians from dissolving. For me, the authority of the ancient dragons refers to absolute control over the hydro element. Fontanians were incomplete humans born of Egeria's use of the power of the primordial sea, with constitutions similar to that of mimics. But so long as those primordial energies remain within them, I could use the ancient dragon's authority to grant them true blood, after the fashion in which life was first brought into being on this planet. Oh. In other words, when I gave my verdict, Fontanians became true humans, and thus would naturally no longer be dissolved by water from the Primordial Sea. Fossilor must have counted on you to make that decision as well. Your verdict was the key to making the prophecy appear to have come true while saving everyone! But the Fontanians were finally born. Yeah, and in a manner of speaking, Fossilor finally managed to fulfill the original Hydro Archon's wish to turn Oceanids into real people, too! <laughs> it seems from your expressions that you still have more things you wish to ask. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Oh my god, there's so many. The initial verdict that was passed on Child, Fontaine Future, Fontaine Gnosis, Next Stop. Why is there nothing? Oh my god, why is there, why is there nothing about Descenders? I have investigated his case along many avenues, and I have learned that he once fell into an unknown chasm when he was young. There, by chance, he awakened the all-devouring narwhal. So when he first fell into that chasm, he awakened to that narwhal. But whether it be by sentiment or reason, that should not have been enough to consider him the root cause of the disaster. At most, he would have had tangential liability. As for the judgment passed by the Oratrice during the trial, whether it was due to that liability by association, or Fossilor deliberately using him to buy time for us on the assumption that he would be able to hold the creature off, I cannot say. Guess Fossilor had Fontanians in mind the whole time. In the end, it was thanks to her that they finally became mm. real humans. Uh, hang on a second. Paimon suddenly got another question. Back when Fontanians hadn't yet become real humans, were the children they had also transformed Oceanids? True. Life has always flowed like water. Do you recall how Fontanians would often come to the Fountain of Lucene to pray for children? Yeah, Lynette said the fountain is where all the waters in Fontaine converge. In truth, even those couples did not know that such prayers were no mere custom, but instead a form of ritual. Those Oceanids who were blessed within the spring water would later descend as new humans in the coming months. Uh, Paimon sorta of gets it now. Either way, it seems like this ritual won't be of any further use, but it'll probably live on as a local custom. So basically, kids before weren't, weren't born through like the typical ways of humans, which is, you know, fucking. <laughs> And they were literally just like blessed down upon them through a ritual. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Fontaine's future. Yeah, about that. Riley said 
said Farina has already left. What's that all about? Wait, Farina left? Ah, oh, Lady Farina. The people are only aware that her death sentence has not been carried out. She abdicated the post of Hydro Archon and left affairs related to that title to me before leaving the Opera House. Where'd she go? I related Fosilor's words to her faithfully and completely. After hearing them, she seemed neither saddened nor comforted. Oh, so she knows. She knows about Fosilor. She simply said that she was tired and needed <gasps> to rest. Oh my god! Do you think when with her rerun in 4.6, maybe we'll get that final area of Fontaine and we'll like kind of like try to go find her? And that's her story quest part two. Having said that, she then packed her things and moved out of the opera house. Not unlike how an ordinary person might. Um, but she's still got a place to stay, right? You need not worry. I will make arrangements to ensure that she will not want for food, clothing, board, or travel. How would Story Quest Part 1 happen if we had to find her in 2? I haven't played it, so I, I don't know what happens in the first one. <laughs> In truth, I am somewhat happy for her. What 4.6 rerun are you talking will, course, about? Take time to heal. Guys, it's not a leak. It's just a pattern. Every Archon always runs four patches after their initial run. It's happened for like literally every single one. But now that she no longer has to play the role of Fosalor the Hydro Archon, she can finally lay down her burdens and lead a normal life. Gained your full powers as the Hydro Dragon. To fuck up Celestia. After Fosalor passed on, the Aura Trees also ceased to function. This matter will directly affect our trials. After much careful consideration, I've decided to take over its role in our courts. From now on, I shall hear cases and pass verdicts by myself. Okay. It looks like you're still considering stuff from the perspective of the Udex, huh? As an elemental dragon, there are indeed many things that I must do. But this power and this duty, in a manner of speaking, you could say that both were granted to me. As such, before I attend to my other responsibilities, I must first and foremost continue to serve Fontaine as its highest judge. The duty of the Hydro Sovereign and the duty of the Udex shall coexist within my person. Additionally, the Hydro Archon's departure has brought about another problem, which is that the Opera House shall no longer produce indemnidium. Oh, yeah. That's true. That people's faith in the Hydro Archon, wasn't it? Wait, but the various mechs and machines in the city are all still okay. Where are they getting their energy from? As I am now, I have full command over New Musia, and it can serve as a complete substitute. Another reason why I cannot quite leave Fontaine immediately. Wow. This ancient dragon's authority stuff They're is on nuclear really power now. Useful, huh? Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. The Gnosis... Oh, that's right! They say you've given it to the Knave as a diplomatic gift or something! Leaving aside their intentionality, the two Fatui Harbingers have indeed done much for us during this crisis. I mean, child, I guess. This sole remaining goal in Fontaine, at least at this point, would seem to be the Gnosis. The Oratrice has ceased to function. The Hydro Archon's Divine Throne is now no more. And I do not need the Gnosis's power. So there's no Hydro Throne. As such, it has lost all meaning for Fontaine. That's crazy. If the Fatui have impure designs, then we might as well accede to their request now and avoid unnecessary conflict. Ugh, what complicated considerations. Paima thought you were just giving it to them out of gratitude to the Knave and as an apology to Child. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Okay. You will soon be heading to Nathlan, I presume. I'm afraid that I have little talent as a travel guide, so Fuck. all I can do is tell you what I know about that land. As far as I'm aware, Nathlan can be said to be a nation of dragons. Coming from the dragon. A nation of dragons? You mean like you? No, I suspect that I would not find myself welcome there. Oh. Unlike ancient dragons such as myself, the dragons of Natlan have undergone long years of development Wait, and evolution. 
Large numbers of them have entered a form of coexistence with humanity. So there's like literal dragons, like dragon dragons there right now. And there might be like coat, like dragon half, like human maybe? Nathlon is also the nation of war. War ravages those lands like an undying flame. There is one other piece of information I got incidentally from my negotiations with the Knave that I believe may be useful to you. The harbinger known as the Captain has thrown his hat into the endless ring of war. Oh my god, he's a dragon. Capitano's probably part dragon. How much you want to bet? Pretty sure Madam suspected that. The captain. Sounds like a real tough customer. Seriously, everywhere you look, there's a Fatui Harbinger doing their thing. I suggest that you fully prepare yourself. <gasps> but what about Columbina? What about meantime, Columbina? The doors will always be open to you. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. question about the gnosis okay when we spoke to Linny earlier he mentioned that your attitude towards giving away the gnosis had clearly changed we guessed that there might be some reason for it that only you were aware of hmm no wonder the house of the hearth is the fatui's intelligence division oh, my they are certainly sharp so regarding this specific issue i was just getting ready to share something with you In truth, I exchanged some further words with that lady named Skirk after when? sending you two back to the surface. It went something like this. Huh? I'm waiting. I'm literally, I'm waiting. Well, we're going to head topside to see what's going on. You hurry over soon as well, all right, Nervalet? <laughs> what next? Hmm. The all devouring narwhal isn't here, so I'm no longer getting any interference. Do they know it? They don't. Do they know it? No. I can finally catch the scent of your power, what it's made of. That's creepy. It is the authority of the planet's primordial dragons, but with something very similar to a god's curse mixed in. It's quite a novel blend. Okay. I'm sure I've encountered something like this before. What was it again? I do not know what you speak of. Ah, oh, of course. How could I forget? You should have the remains of the third descender on your person, yes? What? Remains? I've never heard of any such thing. Huh. According to your parlance, I believe it may be called a gnosis. Well, that much is true. After Fosalor's divinity faded, she handed her gnosis to me. But I fear I have never heard of it described in the manner that you just did. I've been training with my master, the Fowl, ever since I was young. And I have never returned to the surface since. So most of the information I possess, I got from him. It is only natural for those who are greater than humanity to possess a different sort of common sense. Which is why there are so many problems in our attempts to communicate with humans. So they're not humans. Like, Skirk isn't human. And they're saying that the Gnosis all came from the Third Descender. The remain. So the Third Descender died. And then was... To was... Made into Gnosis? Wait, that why is that fucked up? Why is that weird? Why is that fucking fucked? What? Huh? Wait, I have so many questions. Regardless, you should probably get rid of objects of misfortune to prevent any disasters from befalling you. Whoa. Interesting. To live in itself is a blessing. 
But once a person dies, the bonds he once had with this world shall all turn to curses. What do you mean by that? Literally. <sighs> no need to fret. These are just my... personal thoughts. And my reason for no longer wishing to return to the surface. This third descender you refer to, who are they? And when did they die? Stop. <laughs> Master never mentioned them to Fuck! me. Fuck! Perhaps it just wasn't that important for me to know. If you're interested, though, I could ask him. I'll be sure to pass the answer on to you next time. Next time when, babes? Next time when? Next time? You believe we will meet again? I do. Wait. I have a disciple of my own, don't I? He can be the messenger then. Child. I fucking can't. Child's gonna be the one to find out who the third descender was. Be so for real. Child story quest part two. That's what she told me. Whether it would prove useful or not, I wanted to pass that information on to you. The remains of the third descender? So that's what the Gnosis actually are. Kinda just thought they looked like chess pieces. How could they be a person's remains? We are... All the same, assuming that there was no misunderstanding or special metaphor at play, that... And she said that it would bring misfortune and that you should check it, which is why you gave it to the Fatui. Wait, this isn't good. This is not good at all for the Fatui then. If she speaks the truth, then I would simply be putting Fontaine at unnecessary risk by keeping it here. How much misfortune are you going to have when you have all the Gnosis together? I'm the fourth descender. For me, this information means two things. One, the Gnosis are related to the descender, and two, the ones that came before me are already dead. Yup. I guess that you might already be familiar with this concept. But I did not expect you to be one of them. Surprise! That means that the Gnosis, which are exceedingly element compatible and can even enhance elemental abilities, do indeed come from the Third Descender. Hmm, I wonder. Does your body also possess similar properties? Like, uh... Like being able to use elemental powers without a vision! That does sort of count as special compatibility, right? Wait, so what's going on now, though? We're going around the world unlocking our elemental abilities. I don't feel like this is a good fate for us. I don't feel like this is a good fate for us, y'all. We're being, we're being raised as a pig to slaughter. Oh my god. Oh no. It's Farina. It's the Farina effect. It's the Farina effect. Remember what I said earlier about Farina making that mention? Like, Fosler kind of making it sound like we're Farina too. How, how Farina was just raised for 500 years for an end goal, and now we're being, and almost like we're the same thing. No, no, let's not think about this stuff right now. It just feels creepy. How much you want to bet Dottori's involved in this? I feel like something fucked up with this is Dottori involvement all over it. Comparing the Traveler to the dead Third Descender and all? Don't worry, I won't die That's easily. That's what you say, but this topic still feels like bad luck! <sighs> Once Child recovers, let's get some more answers out of him. Or go look for his master Damn. and get the answers that way! I think this is gonna happen then before 5.0. They're not talking about Notlin. This feels like this is going to happen before 5.0. I too believe it unwise to make too many blind guesses when information is lacking. The same is true of being at court. All right. Whatever the case, it seems like the crisis here in Fontaine's over for now. Either Dane Quest or Arlequino, because Arlequino's talking about the yes. double cross. All of Fosalor's efforts were for this moment as well. But she sacrificed herself in the end as a god. And she suffered through all those years as a human. 
Was that really what she wanted? I suppose that would be the mystery of a god's will. Can you understand the will of I gods? I suspect not. But once in a while, I too would guess that if wishes were like the clouds in the sky, they will one day return to the earth as raindrops. Life flows like water, and rain is the final answer. The water levels may sometimes tilt one way or another, but the rain falls fairly upon all. And what ultimately? is the difference between the rains that fall upon all of us. What a fucking Archon quest. Holy... I'ma say it. I'ma say it. Best one. In the game, by far. Wow. That, yeah, that is like the best Archon quest in the game currently. What a way to like, just like wrap it up.